I think you just zoom in. Oh, I just zoom in on it. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right. Would you guys want to do the uh the this anonymous confession thing? I don't know how we would go. I've never I've never done this before. So I'm like, I'm not so much nervous for me. I'm more nervous for you. I don't even know what you guys really put or what people put. Yeah, for real. You sound British for a sec. Apologies. Would you want to tweet it out? Uh, now nah, because responses already submitted. So like, you know what I'm saying. Wait, I gotta know. How many of you guys in the chat right now submitted something? Just just type a one. Just be like, yo, I put something in there. I don't know if they'll all put up or all be uh displayed because I remembered uh I didn't want anything that had to do with me in it because it was like uh No way, Olivia did, Natalie, Zoe. Oh shit, so a good bit of you guys. Peyton Combs did. So we got some people that submitted. Veronica would have won too. For real? Yeah, okay, hold up. Let me see. I'm actually curious, bro. You didn't have a good confession, to be honest. Honestly, the, the first one that just loaded up was like, I was like, bro, I, <laughs> I feel like it's a, a Nancy type thing to say. So let, let me... <laughs> hold up. What? I didn't submit anything? No, I'm just saying the first thing that I saw, that was like as close as... Uh, if you did submit anything, it would have been that for sure. So, so let's just get into this, man. I, I, I don't really know what to expect. Um, I, I'm, I'm quite scared. I'm quite scared. Um, I've got to be honest with you. Okay, so I've got like two Google things here. Um, and I'm assuming I just got to zoom in from this thing, right? I don't know how to like zoom it in properly. Hmm. Uh... See. Hi Denise, how are you? What's going on, yo? Welcome to the stream. What up? What up? You don't have any tea? No, you're okay. I want to do another one where it's like, um. Uh, actually, yes. I'm gonna go and ask you guys for uh for you to do that right now. Let me swap to my other Google page real quick. Give me one second, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be complicated. Um. But my next one I want to do is. Funny DMs. I don't know if you guys have submitted this form, but the form in the chat, if you guys want to go ahead and submit any type of weird, funny, just cringy, interesting DMs that you've received from people like on Instagram or like maybe Twitter or something um, that you would like us to take a look at. Oh, I got this. I, I, I want to hear. I have uh, one myself that I would like you guys to see at some point. I think it's pretty funny. Um, I, I don't know if I'll put it in there, but... Um, I will try to find something that I can share with you guys as well uh, to kind of make it like we're all even Steven. As far as the confessions go, I don't have anything to share. Um, I think lately, the only confession that I've had was... I think, I, I think, I think someone fell. I think... <laughs> Yo, I'm just... <laughs> Yo. All right. Well, I think um, I think everything's okay for now. Um, it was funny because you heard that this man on the ceiling just came. Bro, I'm not even kidding. So they used to sleep like their bed is like right there, I think, where my bed is. So it was kind of weird, but I was always scared because Brad will just roll over and just fall off the bed. Like we'll just hear like a, a loud thump. Like it was like uh two weeks ago. They were like, yo, did you hear that loud thump last night? And like, oh, was it thunder crazy? Like, I sleep through rain all the time. They're like, no. Rad rolled off the bed again. And I was like, oh, is he good? And uh, he was like, Rat, look at this. And he's wearing shorts. And he, like, lifts up his leg. Like, I'm almost seeing this guy's bare cheeks. And he's got a whole, like, his whole leg is purple. Crazy stuff, man. 
again. Yeah, like it's that's kind of funny. I feel bad. Like I'm not making fun of the guy. Like I feel bad too. But it's like, bro, like, like I don't know. He's just like he's got like not the best back. And I'm like, yo, Brad, like, you me help you. Like, if there's something he needs to pick up, I'm like, yo, let me get that for you, you know? Uh, but he's like, no, I got it. I got it. Oh, my God, man. Cheeks, cheek, cheeked up, checked up, bro. Sorry. <laughs> he needs a fence for his bed. Dude, for real, he needs one of those, like, floor beds with, like, the, like, the toddlers have. Oh, man. I signed to my Google to submit something. Oh, man, it's so much work. It is a lot of work, huh? But if you do submit to that form, you can submit like up to like five things because I want to be able to like get some good content out of it for, for potential YouTube stuff. Just make sure you block out anything like super personal. Like I don't want to like put anyone blaster. You forgot your password. Well, you better freaking remember your password real quick. One thing about right, he'll point out a typo. Oh yeah, there better not be any typos in here. But anyways, let's get into the, the confessions. Okay, chat. Um, I got to fix my screen. But like I was saying before, the only sort of confession I could kind of think up uh, or think that I could tell you guys was like lately I've realized when I'm eating like Cheetos or like something that's got like um, a film that sticks on your hands and sometimes you feel like gross like licking your fingers. I don't know. I will have to go to the bathroom before I can wash my hands and put them together. I have to like put the one hand, pump soap in it, wash it like with one like wash the hand by itself run underwater, and then put soap, and then I can rub my hands together. I don't know if that's weird, or if, like, that's, like, I don't know, people do that. I, I don't think I'm the only one that does that, but, like, before, like, my hands, like, I don't know, this hand just feels too dirty to touch this hand, too. Does that make sense? Yeah, you do that, too? You Okay, cool. So, okay, that's my only confession, I think. I don't know. It's very specific, but I wouldn't say weird. Okay, I don't know. It just feels illegal to put, like, if this is, like, a a semi-decent clean hand and this one's like covered in cheetos to put them together with soap it just it, it's not right it's not right is it like a sensory thing i'm not sure what it could be to be honest with you but <laughs> never mind thea via said i'm definitely not normal though well okay uh <laughs> um anyways let me fix the uh this scene here um i don't know how to get this off like uh, okay, so individual, I'll have like the next arrow. Let me go to react scene. Or, yeah, react. And then I will go to display capture. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here. So it's like just on the, uh, the submission. Will that, will that be good? An honest confession, I... Is, is, is that pretty good? That's that's pretty decent, huh? This is the, this is the Nancy one, by the way. I feel like this is Nancy that typed that. I I don't I feel I feel like it'd be longer though, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> D four, what's good? Sorry, I wish I could have changed this before. Um, I feel like I should shorten it a little bit. Thank you. Oh, is he? Izzy, what's going on? Izzy, I appreciate the love, yo. Thank you for the sub, love. Oh, wait, let me move that over here. I'll make it smaller. Fuck it. I hope you guys can read that. I don't know. Is that good? Yo, Izzy, thank you so much for the freaking three-month sub, bro. Thank you. <clears throat> You can zoom into the web page. <sighs> okay. Well, what the fuck is this, bro? What's going on here? What is all this? Alright, everything's getting locked down. Everything's getting locked down. Whoop, whoop. Sorry. Look what you did, brother. Oh my gosh. You're so funny. Bro. What is now? What is that? Thank you. Okay. 
fit the screen. Okay. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. So that way I can like... I don't know, we'll just, I guess I'll do this. I don't know, I, the way that I've seen it in other uh, streams, like it looks so different. I feel like my th head's going to be in the way here. Um, Anonymous Gifter! Anonymous, thank you so much for the sub, bro. Please, do not do that. Save your money, bro. Save your money. Thank you. Uh, you said that sounds like a me thing. I eat straws. This does sound like a Nancy thing. I can't lie. Can you guys see okay? Can you read okay? Can you see okay, everybody? K and J Blunt, what's goody? Welcome to the stream. Guys, I don't eat straws. I, I don't know, man. I'd, I'd have to like see proof of like your daily life and see... You know, really, what, what's Nancy doing really behind the scenes? It looks fine. Okay, okay. Well, for being our first one, you like chewing on them, literally not swallowing it. I feel like, you know, maybe that might be valid. Maybe I'm like being too like judgy right here. Because I think chewing on a straw seems like a pretty normal thing. I think someone had flamed somebody before, like about the, uh, the caps, water bottle caps. And I'm not going to lie. I used to kind of be that guy too. Um, it looks too tiny. Hmm. Let me figure this out. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Put this right here. Wait, should I? How do I go dark mode on here? How do I do Google dark mode? Ooh, customize my theme. Okay, let me let me turn off the display real quick. Uh, header, Roboto, color, background. Oh wait, dark. Oh, wait, this might be good. Okay, I can't do dark, dark. But I can do it like this. Violence, thank you for the follow. It doesn't look like how it does on the YouTube videos, though, bro. Their screen is just like, it, it doesn't have all this stuff. It's just got this part. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Can you zoom in a little bit more? Maybe that'll help. Yeah, let's try that. I just don't, I don't know if it'll be like larger. Um... How about that? It looks fine, are you sure? That made no difference. Okay, well, listen, bro. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Use the eye bottom. The eye bottom. The eye bottom. Oh, preview. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no, never mind. No, it's, it's a different thing. It says only the editors can see this link. All right, it doesn't have to be that. Yeah, that's very true. It doesn't have to be that exactly. All right, so this might be a, a very scuffed um, little confession moment, but uh, we'll kind of see how it goes. I wish my chat wasn't... Uh, like blending in with the like thing can i get a little like black box real quick do you mind i think i have one in my download somewhere let me find it i'm sorry i'm so so sorry i should have done this beforehand but i didn't think it would be uh that difficult muy difícil uh chat one chat one do i have a chat one How do I confess something? It's a little bit too late to do that, but we got a pinned comment, a form of Instagram DMs if you'd like to do that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Well, I want the chat to be able to pop up though. Red stressing, but we're all enjoying. I hope you're enjoying, bro. It better be. Right, I downloaded a black box. Here we go. All right, image. Sorry, could have gave you guys some music too. Alrighty, so I'm going to take the chat. Does that, it really has, out of all the boxes on the internet that I downloaded, this one's got a freaking uh, border, bro. Like I literally just, like I just looked up, like, oh my God. I'm over it. All right. 
let's go back to display. <laughs> all right, so I have, uh, all right, I'm going to move the box over here then, and then put you guys over here. Cool. Sorry, guys. All right, I think we're good. Want to just blend it with the background? Um, no, you can see now, yeah? Nancy, that's not funny, bro. That's not funny. I could have put, put a filter on it too, and then do like uh, a color correction, maybe. And then hue shift, oh, opacity. There we go. Look at that. So it's like a little bit gray, so you can still see like... Yo, look how cute that is, bro. Okay, that's a vibe. That's a vibe. I'm giggling that you're getting it. Okay, okay. All right, anyways. Enough time has passed. Everybody begin all laugh at Nancy because she eats straws. Okay, that's the first little confession that we've got going on. I'm trying to keep an eye and make sure. Because if some of them are longer, bro, I don't know what to expect. But I guess we'll be able to scroll down. All right, next one. Here we go. Num confession number two. I hit someone's car at a funeral and drove away. I don't know who this could be. Uh, I don't even know if I should, like... Like, if I were you, I'd feel really bad about that. Like, I would have confessed. Like, that, that, that's, isn't that illegal? Isn't that illegal? Confessing to crimes, bro? This is the people that we're raising in the chat. This is the type of behavior that we're, that we're including. That's a hit and run. Yeah. Not even a note is crazy, bro. Wow. Yeah, it is illegal. What? No shot. Oh, wait, who said Alyssa, you remember? Did someone do this? In the chat right now, someone did this? It's your children, sir. Yo, guys, I thought I raised you better than this. Come on, bro. That is not good to do. Could have left a note. At the very least, you could have left a note or something. Um, All right, now this confession. Here's number three. I hit a car. Uh, bro, y'all need to learn how to drive, bro. I hit a car in the employee parking garage area, knocked the bumper off, and drove away because my car was okay. Oh, my God, bro. Did... <laughs> Bro, we got another hit. Yo, 2319. We got another hit and run. Yo, who, who is this? Bro, y'all need to confess for your sins. That is crazy. Oh my God. It, okay, you really can't make that up. <laughs> There's no way we get two of them back to back. Yeah, it, that's minus two license, bro. A few of you have said that like, oh, I can't wait to get my license. Yeah, okay, maybe that's for the better. Okay. I don't know who's driving to Vegas, but... Anyways, that's very interesting. Um, I hope that everything's okay now with, with, with both stuff, but um, all right, whatever. All right, so we got number number four. Okay. All right, so we got a story time moment. One time when I was around probably seven-ish, my mom had a walk and shower, and I wanted to shower in it, so I did. And after my shower, I was standing there, and I thought I had to fart, but instead I pooped on the floor in the shower, and I was scared it was gonna I was going to get in trouble. So I left it in there. You, bro, bro, left it like it was a choice. Like, and I went back to check if it was still there and it was gone. So I think my mom picked up my poop thinking that it was dog poop. I've never told anyone that story. I mean, our chat, this was not me, dead ass. This is not me. That's foul. Foul. Like, I, I thought the hit and run was bad. I think this might be worse, bro. That, that's like, a, that's jail for life, minimum. I, making your mom. Your mother, pick up your own shit out of the shower. And if you've got one of those drains, man, like, oh, oh man. Oh, and she's just like full, like, full fists and grabbing it, like with toilet paper or whatever y'all use. Wow. That's crazy. I, like, whoever you are, remain anonymous for your own safety, please. Um, that's, <laughs> that's crazy because the toilet is right there. Yeah, like, for real. Like, I've heard of, like... I've like had to take a shit and then I would shower afterwards. It just feels better. But like shitting in the shower, I, I don't think that's what. No, nah, that's not, it's not clicking, Steven. Don't make it. OK, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyways, that that's very crazy. Remain not as please, bro. <laughs> I'm just thinking about your poor mother, bro. Like, oh, my God. Like picking up like dog poop or like cat poop is just like so sickening. It's like poor dogs like they can't really help it. Right. They don't got a choice like we do, but you got a choice, bro. You got a choice, man. Oh, my God. 
I, I don't even I'm scared for the rest of these it says 48 guys it says four out of 48 I'm fucking terrified I'm terrified thank you for submitting that I think um oh my god my heart's like racing a bit from reading that holy moly okay I'm like scared bro the person who submitted this is crying okay yeah listen it's fine bro like I'm pretty sure we all maybe had like an accident before um but like you know only God can really judge us at the end of the day. As long as you're willing to bring that up to the gates, then for sure. That's sticking with you for life, though. All right, now it's question number five. One time I stuck my sister's toothbrush in the toilet and it put it back so she would use a stinky toothbrush later because I was mad, mad. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, bro. <laughs> Yo, that, this one's crazy, but, but also I can't, I can't hate too much. Because I did the same thing to one of my sisters before. I did the same thing to my sister. But to be honest, though, to be honest, she had it coming. She had it coming. Because, you know, like, when, whenever you fight with your siblings and it's like, th th okay, listen, why y'all saying my name, first of all? L look at the pr look at this on the screen. They admitted to it. I I'm trying to, like, you know, be empathetic. I'm trying to, like, feel for them real quick. But to be honest, we were getting ready for school. And my sister, like, was hogging the sink. And she just always had an attitude in the morning. Like, damn, like, you can't be happy you fucking woke up today. Like, getting ready for school. Like, I know not everyone has to be happy every day. But, like, every day you gotta be mad at something. Like, you can't make that up. And I'm about to brush my teeth. She, like, elbows me. We go back and forth. And she knocks my toothbrush out of my hand. It goes on the floor by the toilet. And I was like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Disgusting. It doesn't go in the toilet. It goes by the, on the floor. Ruins the toothbrush. And she's like, huh, huh. Like, like a little, like, snobby little remark afterwards, too. Making me go to the whole rest of the day of school without brushing my teeth. It's crazy. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get revenge. She leaves the bathroom. I still got to do my hair. Do a little dip. Maybe a little, maybe, maybe a little wipe. Maybe a little. <laughs> All right. Somebody, somebody take me to jail right now. But <laughs> I'm a Scorpio, bro. What can I say? What can I say? Uh... <laughs> I was definitely triggered, bro. You don't want to fuck with me, man. You don't want to fuck with me. Um, <laughs> nah, because, like, the toilet water alone isn't that bad. So you had to do a little... Anyways. <laughs> He's getting mad all over again. I'm sorry, bro. It's just, like, those things, just, like, they just... It upsets me for some reason, but... All right, we don't got to talk about that. Sisters, if you're watching this... I'm sorry. Um... It was like when I was a freshman, so like, you know what I mean? It was years ago. Uh, we've definitely grown from that, okay? But uh, honestly, I don't blame you for this. This ain't really a... I probably wouldn't do it again. <laughs> but I love stinky toothbrush. I love... That's so funny. Uh, yo, promise. Thank you so much for the five gifted, bro. Yo, promise. Thank you. Your sister's allowed to throw hands when she sees this? Most definitely, bro. That's one of those things I thought I was going to take to the grave, but since you put it out there, I'll... You know, I'll offer up a little a little story time too. Why not? Um, <laughs> Y'all didn't have extra toothbrushes? Man, you think I'm rich, bro? You think I'm rich? One and done. All right, probably. Guys, I don't live with my sisters. I'm, I'm not able to do it again. But also, don't get on my bad side too, okay? I'd be like that. Promise, thank you for the love. Um, okay, this is, this is great. I hope you guys enjoyed this so far. But number six, here we go. Um, all right. So I used to take inventory at my job and would accept like minus one of anything or like one of anything I wanted. And I just write a note that we didn't get the right amount and that they would, uh, and they would get a refund or whatever from the vendor. You got so many cute necklaces, bracelets, posters, anything I wanted. This was my first job. I promise I've grown as a person. Okay. W for like recognizing that that's probably not the right thing to do. Uh, and I, I'm glad that you've grown from that. That's that's all a, a very big W. Um, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not saying I used to do this, but I did this once on accident because I, um, a little bit of sauce. It's kind of like the the Uber Eats, bro. Like you just say like you didn't get your sauce, you get a little bit of money back. Kind of like the same thing with Amazon. If you didn't get your order, like I remember I I didn't get my keycaps. I dead ass didn't get them. And then I went online and I like typed in the number to like call them. I was like, yo, I didn't get I, my shit didn't arrive. And um, they were like, all right, we'll send you a replacement. Um, can you confirm the order number? And I was like, 92010. She was like, okay. Um, She's like, it'll be there tomorrow. I was like, hello, that's it? Like, didn't need proof or anything? That was crazy. 
Okay, y'all confessing to theft? Listen, man, it, but then the next day it showed up, and I got tw two of them. So I got, like, double the keycaps. It was great. It was kind of like free free money, man. Next day the thing came? Bro, it's fire, huh? You can request for a refund? I don't know, man. I, you you look, you know what's up, but I hope you uh, have, like, I don't know, at least kept some of the bracelets and the posters. Didn't, like, use them to, like, get money or anything crazy. I feel like if you're, like, gonna... I don't know. That might be a little bit too bold, but I'm, I'm glad you grew from that. <laughs> Uh, but honestly, I don't, I don't blame you for that. Um, reckless drivers, thieves, and Rhett the toothbrush dipper, bro. That's me, man. That's me. Bad boy Rhett, bro. That's me. Come on now. All right. Um, all right. It says, can't fall asleep at night until I have a full conversation with myself in the dark. I'm kind of funny for real. I'll be making myself laugh. Bro. <laughs> I don't know if, if you're funny or that's if you're just delusional. What like the melatonin probably just be hidden different with this one. <laughs> like this reminds me of myself a little bit. But <laughs> I don't even know. Like I don't even know what to say. Uh, it's valid. I I feel like I don't. That's I I want to get in this person's mind and I'll or maybe just be able to like be in the same room, it, not in like a weird way, but like just witness what it's like to have a conversation with yourself. Like what what do you talk about? Like what are you doing the next day? Or are you like hey how are you? Oh, I'm good. What did you do today? Uh, nothing. Like, you know, I don't know how this, I'm curious how this conversation goes, but I relate to the, I'm kind of funny. I'd be making myself laugh. That's me every day. Me every day. Inner monologue, uh, inner monologue for real. Yo, who did it? If you want to confess, by the way, if this was you, um, you got to let us know. You got to let us know. Anyways. Uh, I'd be pretending I'm talking to my YouTube followers. Oh my god, when I used to play Minecraft, I used to do that all the time. Like, I'd be like, alright guys, so I did some mining, we got some diamonds, I'm gonna build a house here, I'm gonna do this. Oh my god. Yo, loneliness is like, yo, it's a disease, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, next one. Thank you for sharing that. Um, I hope you have plenty of conversations to go in the future, by the way. Uh, when I do skincare, I talk to myself in the mirror. Don't tell me you do like a whole like, Okay, then I put on my moisturizer. Okay. So you do eat straws. Um, okay. So sometimes everything can be fine and things with my friends are fine. And then if one person takes a little too long to respond or that response is a little too short, then I immediately start thinking that everyone hates me and that I'm an evil person, which makes me sad, uh, which in turn makes me ignore everyone and they think I'm angry with them and it causes a clusterfuck. Bro. This is the definition of just like having a fucking brain and knowing what overthinking is like. It, like I've never related to anything in my life more. Um, I don't know, man. I, I don't really got like anything to say for that. That's literally how I feel. It's just overthinking, right? It's overthinking. I think everyone wrote this confession, right? I hope you, uh, if you are watching this, whether that's like, you know, on YouTube or through the stream, um, I hope you have a little bit of comfort in seeing all the people up in the chat saying real and relatable it's like i don't know yeah i think our brains are our own worst enemy at times man it does cause cause a clusterfuck it just of overthinking and then like maybe like a week from now or like a month from now you'll talk to those people and be like yo were you like mad at me or like is there anything <laughs> excuse me going on between us and they're like hey what like i'm not even tripping about it and you're like what this whole time i'm like you know wild bro i don't know I feel like it's kind of like a maybe some type of a I don't want to say trauma response. I, I'm not like some therapist. I can't tell you exactly what it is, but uh, I do feel for you though. Um, uh, we'll go we'll go to the next response though. I, I don't know if I did that one justice, but I'm trying to make a little comment or something. I don't know if I have everything to say or something to say for all of these, but um, all right. For as long as I can remember, I could feel something in my belly button, but I thought it was just some extra skin or something. Within the last month. I was taking a shower and scrubbing my belly button. I felt the extra skin move around. Uh, I stuck my finger in my belly button and I felt the skin come loose. When I pulled it out, it turned out to be some lint. Like I said, I had no idea how long this has been in my belly button, but it was stuck there for at least a year minimum. Bro. <laughs> oh my fucking God, bro. I don't even know what to say, bro. I don't even know what to say. Um, God, that is crazy. I, a year minimum. Okay, th this is submitted. 
7 13 23 and you said last month so last fucking month last fucking month you just got and this has been in your oh my god take another fucking shower if you i don't even care if you're watching the stream take another shower just just for security purposes we need to make sure okay um that's wild yeah yeah scrub like 20 15 to 20 seconds on each body part minimum okay uh i mean i'm i'm, I'm happy for you i think uh I'm glad it, uh, you got that lint out. <laughs> yo, who, I'm, yo, I don't even know what to know that is anymore, actually. I'm good. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> I like how I'm, like, this is so, like, wholesome. Like, go ahead and spill your guts. This is a judgment-free zone, so feel free to say it. Yo, I'm, like, hardcore, like, take a fucking shower, you nasty fuck. <laughs> nah, but I don't care. That's, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. That, <laughs> Yo, okay, let's... <laughs> oh, my God. Um, okay, so graduated college last May, age 22. And I feel like I'm outgrowing my two close friends. Um, that'll leave me with zero close friends. Yet the older adults in my life, age 30 plus, keep telling me that it's normal to not have any close friends as you get older. They either hang out with their lover or their family all the time. Is it bad that I don't want to be that to be me when I'm older? Um... Is it bad that I don't want that to be me? No, it's not bad. I and mean, that's what you want, right? And if that's what you want, there, there's other people that like that. If you think like that, there's many other people that probably have that same sort of uh, like mindset on it all. Um, I, I saw this really interesting chart though. And I talked about it before, but it talks about the people that are in your life. And it'll have the amount of time that like you spend with your family. And it's like this graph chart. But then when you get like 18 it significantly drops down because when you graduate, you move out, you go get a job, you make your own family. You're not hanging with your siblings or your mom and dad as much anymore, right? Um, so it's it's very interesting to see. And it's kind of like a, a bittersweet thing because you realize like you may get like sad as an adult or as you've grown up, you're like, oh, I miss the days when I was a kid. I miss um, spending time with my family. But if you were present for a majority of like your childhood or like if you made some cool memories, I feel like you you made the most of what you had and I don't know. I don't think it's a bad thing to feel like you're outgrowing your friends. I think that's a pretty common thing just because, you know, you guys might have different mindsets. Maybe one likes to party more than the other. Like maybe you're trying to like mature up a little bit or just like focus on your life. I don't know. Um, but zero close friends or not, just being yourself out there, you never know who you're going to come across and you can make plenty more friends. Um, I would consider everyone in the chat like my friend. Obviously, like close friends, it isn't uh, it's not a very big list. I don't really talk to anyone like off stream or every day, um, and, and that that's fine with me. It, it's not really like my uh, purpose, or it's not like what wakes me up in the morning having friends. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I, I don't know if I did a good job answering that, but it is not bad to answer your question overall. It's not bad. Um, I think you. I think you're exactly where you need to be. Just got to be patient and just find the right people for you for sure. Um, Outgrowing friends is ne not necessarily a bad thing. Everyone has their own path. Yeah, you'll always meet new people, bro. Like, I think I was looking up how to make friends, and they're like, if you go to the same coffee shop at the same time every day, or the same gym every day at the same time, you're bound to meet somebody at some point. There will be a conversation that sparks, and if it happens, it happens, right? Um, uh, Rat, hi, what's up, Toby? How are you? What's going on today? Uh, yeah, we're friends. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you guys are there for me on, on my good days, my bad days, right? It's like... I don't got anyone else I can just like rant to like that, like that I feel like comfortable enough with. So, um, and what Olivia said, sometimes you need to outgrow people. That way you can make room for people who matter the most. Very true. Very true. People will always come and go in your life, whether that's family, friends, long time relationship partners, or if it's temporary. Um, I think that's why it's so, so important not to rush in any type of a friendship or relationship until you are completely whole and happy with yourself. And who you are um if you can spend time by by yourself and really enjoy it um you're winning you're winning at life because the moment that that person leaves your life the moment you lose those friends you're not tripping about it because at the end of the day you still got yourself those people didn't make you who you were you are who you are because yourself so anyways we'll go into the next one i'm sorry for rambling but um one time my neighbor lost her guinea pig so she asked me to come over and help her look for him and we couldn't find it for hours, but when we found him, 
but we found him squished in the couch cushions because someone sat on him. R.I.P. Peanut. Oh my god, bruh. The poor guy, poor Peanut. That's crazy. A guinea pig? A guinea pig? Not even like a little like hamster? A guinea pig? Yo. Can we get a moment of silence? That is awful. Bro, I didn't even, like, how do you even, oh my goodness. I'm glad y'all were like, I, I didn't even want to say I'm glad. I was going to say I'm like glad you guys were able to like find him, but you didn't really find him. That is that is a crime, bro. We got some criminals in the chat, bro. Yo. <sighs> I once swallowed a stainless steel ball from a board game and had to go to the hospital to see if I was okay. Not sure why we eaten balls, but uh, I'm I'm assuming you're good now because it, it said submitted seven thirteen twenty three. So I'm, I'm I think we're good now. Um, interesting. I don't know what to say. Uh, that's scary, bro. I don't even know. If, did you have to like poop? Okay, never mind. Um, next one. I used to hook up with my friend's dad. Uh, friend was adopted, and the dad wasn't that. That old is crazy, bruh. Yo, yo, who? <laughs> nah. I used to hook up with my dad, my friend's dad. The friend was adopted, and the the dad wasn't that old, bro. What? What? Ah, man. You're ruining families out here, bro. Was it? Was he single? Was he single? No way. What in the what pad, bro? There's gonna be a freaking story about this, man. You need to know how old. Uh, hopefully, old enough to know that they were making that decision for sure. Um, home records for real, bro. Interesting. Honestly, kind of goals. Blessing. Relax out here, bro. Dude, come on, man. <laughs> Dude, he, homie was adopted, man. Like, give him a break. Give him a break. Let's not let's not ruin his whole life. Hoping they were legal. Let, let's help. Fingers crossed, okay? Oh. <laughs> I might be uploading this what on YouTube. Oh, oh my god. god. No way. Oh. Thank you, JoJo. <clears throat> Why would you read that comment out loud? Why would you type it in the chat, bro? <laughs> That's all I want to know. But yeah, this will be on YouTube. We'll try to see if we can edit it down, make it look really super cool. I want to put these in a tier list rating. Like, from, like, I don't know, sort of, like, okay to, like, you need therapy. And, and probably, like, I mean, what's the worst thing? Jail time for sure. That's got to be, like, bottom line. I'll figure out where to put these at. Thank you. Yo, James, thank you for the gifted sub, brother. Yo, who's... Yo, I'm right here, bro. Who did that? Who just booped me? Yo, James, thank you for the gifted sub. Okay, right, at, right after this boop stops touching me, we'll get on to the next one. But hooking up with a friend's dad's crazy, man. I don't know. That's wild. That's like some, like, uh, what do I say? Like, that's like, like some stuff, like, as a kid. I don't know. You just, Like, not really as a kid. Like, when you're younger. I mean, I remember when I, when I was, like, what? In high school? I don't know. I was like, I don't know. Guys, like, they just think differently. You're like, bro, wouldn't that be crazy? Your toothbrush story is jail time? You think so? Okay. Well, if, if their toothbrush, they have to go to jail, too. They have to go to jail, too. I don't know. Anyways, let's go to the next one, bro. Whoa, Rhett. Whoa, Ash. What? What? Anyways. Man, come on, bro. We've all, we've all thought some stuff, man. I don't, we're not all, like, fucking little guardian angels in here. Don't be acting like that. Um, This one says, I feel like the people in the chat uh, don't really like me. And I'm desperately trying to make friends, but I feel like I'm failing. And I kind of feel like an outcast amongst the chat. I don't know if this is my if this is my chat or like if this is like chat in general like a lot of chats but um i don't know uh i feel like everyone and i know people might say this about their communities a lot but everyone in my chat genuinely and i mean this like straight face whole heart like everyone is super nice and super genuine like i would i would i would trust everyone with my address with my social security number and and have faith that they wouldn't you know fuck me over or try to take advantage of me and, and, I, and i truly mean that 
um that kind of hurts a little bit that you feel that way um because I, I really want you to know that like you are appreciated and you're you're more than welcome to chat and i don't know i i do understand it's hard to make friends but i that's just twitch chat it feels very clicky and it feels like high school and i think that's because there was a shift at some point on twitch it went from a platform of like people just watching other people play games in their bedroom for fun to like these irl streams and then like people on instagram like my high school friends found out about what twitch was and um like uh twitter stands and like these groups they all found about like twitch and it's like that will definitely shift the way communities and people act what they expect how they treat other people uh the proper etiquette things just change and i'm not gonna say that it's completely terrible but i do get you in the sense that it's like it's it is it's just hard um uh, there's been chats i've like taken off my partner badge and it's been a streamer that i've wanted to make like a friend with right and uh, you know, you'll say something, you'll say a couple things and you kind of, it feels like you get like a, I don't know, like a, like a side eye or not really like side eye, but like you push it aside, you know, nobody like wants to be a friend or like that. You're not important. And I'm sorry that you, that you feel that way, that you're like desperately trying to make friends. But, um, if you want to message me or anything like that privately and, you know, I can help introduce or make, make your stay more comfortable because I really don't want anyone to be like. Um, and I know there's probably someone watching that's super nervous to chat. I've seen a couple DMs of people like saying, I don't talk much. I'm scared to talk. Everyone's super nice, bro. Um, I know it's very bold, but if you even like to type something like, um, Hey chat, uh, I'm very new here, but I'm very open or I'm willing. I, I want to make some friends here. Um, it feels very lame to say that. Like, I'm not saying that it's lame if you do that. But in my head, my brain is going to be my enemy here. And I don't feel like, bro, like, why am I being so desperate? Like, I'm just begging people to be my friend. But I've made many tweets like that in the past. Like, hey, I want more streamer friends to play with. Like, sometimes you just have to ask. Otherwise, people aren't going to know if that person's looking for a friend. Some people can't really read the energy from somebody else just with, like, a, a chat. You know what I mean? It's very tough. Like, if it was all, like, we're in a room and you could see people's faces, you can kind of react to body language and kind of, like, you know maneuver from there but it's not always easy over here um but uh, everyone's always welcome over here i promise that and everyone else will have like the same sort of mindset um and, and like i said i know people say that i don't know if it sounds lame but always 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 welcome i promise yeah thea bia says as a former lurker this is the most welcoming chat see we, we've got it like in the blood and the flesh right here like proof is in the pudding man um when I first started watching Rat, I was lurking for like three months. It's scary, but it takes one second to encourage hit that send button. It really does, bro. Yeah, I, I remember like th there was a there was you, there was what? I, I want to say Fernanda too, like just lurking for a long time. And I don't have a problem with lurking too. But um, I, I really, I, I'm trying to do a better job. I wish I knew what it was that I could do better. If I maybe like, I feel like with these type of streams, it's a lot more fun because it can be entertainment for you guys that aren't able to chat as much because... When I'm just like reading the chat and like, hey guys, do you want to listen to music? Or like, how was your guys' day today? I'm not engaging with the person that's on the other side of the screen that doesn't want to type, that doesn't want to talk. And I feel like it's not fair. And I've not liked that for a long time about my streams or about myself. But doing more content related stuff where you can kind of sit back, relax and enjoy. It feels like everyone's kind of at a part. And I feel like these anonymous things, uh, I know it's like kind of like a, out of pocket at times. I feel like it does sort of, a, you know able to kind of get yourself out there a little bit maybe give you a little bit more confidence so uh, i think i had the form in the chat earlier but i can put the link in if you if you want to try the next one if anyone does uh but if you don't want to never never feel pressured um you're watching me for a month before i start chatting that's crazy man i hope no one else feels the same way um subconsciously but for everyone that has like broken out of that nervous barrier like you know from lurker to chatter uh just know that i'm very thankful for you regardless of if you are lurking or not but to be able to meet you guys and talk to you guys is like it makes my whole world like um my whole day um every stream like being able to have people to talk to because i'm like without my chat i wouldn't be anything it would be very hard to like keep a conversation like I, I would struggle so much so you guys make it so much easier and it's so much more fun so thank you guys man um i never talked to you because i'm more comfortable in danny's chat but i'm slowly getting more comfortable i'm glad to dude tori you're always welcome to chat bro for real i know it's like nerve-wracking but I've met um, 
like there's a lot of like OG people, but there's also a lot of new people. And I think now more than ever is like the perfect time to like drop in if you'd like to. Um, and I'm not saying that for my sake. I don't care about like, oh, I need this many people watching my stream. I need this many people chatting in my stream. It's not about that. It's just as long as you're enjoying your time, I'm happy, bro. Um, also, Daisy said I'm fairly new here, but I can see y'all are great. I, I love that you can see that for real. Thank you for, for, um, for being here. And uh, thank you for that comment, by the way. I really appreciate it as well. Um, Zoya, no, not yet. Credit card info was gonna have to wait, bro. I didn't even have that. Um, <laughs> JC's forehead, yo, what's good? How are you? Welcome to the stream. You're a very shy person. I never feel more comfortable than in red streams. He and chat are very welcoming, and nice, never afraid to talk. You see that? Another one. Yo, Vela, thank you so much for following the stream. Let me get some water real quick. I talked a bunch. I apologize. I don't mean to go into this whole little tangent and a spiel, but that like breaks my heart low key, man. Know that you like. The desperately trying to make friends like i feel for you i really do in that like i know where my mindset or where my mentality was like always feeling like an outcast on twitch bro um like never having anyone to play with or like i don't know it sucks man blessing thank you so much for gifting a sub to bria blessing thank you bro I love you. Thank you. Also, Emma 2 Grace uh, says, how you been? I'm, I'm doing okay. We're doing some anonymous confessions right now. So we've got, uh, we are on number 14 of the 48. So we got some more to go, but I'm very, very um, nervous, but excited. So we're going to get through it. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. Okay. Uh, Stevie Wonder. That's so great. I love that. Thank you for being here as well. I appreciate that for real. You actually feel welcomed here? Yo, yo, you're always welcome, bro. Thanks for coming on in. Let's get to the next one. Okay. We all have each other's backs, 100%, always. Don't forget that. So, one time I was dating two guys from the same luxury apartment complex. Whoa. Two guys from the same complex. I met them both on Hinge. I only realized it when I went to hang out with the second one and noticed the address was the same. I was so shook. I dated them for like a month. They didn't know, and I still don't. Oh, and still don't, but they literally lived like two doors down. I don't know if this is crazy or not, but it was, it was for me at the time. What the fuck? Damn, she slash he pulling, bro, pulling for real. What? Dude. Dating two guys from the same luxury apartment at the same exact time is, that is crazy. Like that's some, um, like some movie. That's like, dude, that's literally fucking the summer I turned pretty. The summer I fucking... Got an apartment. The the summer I fucking oh my god, this is literally this is literally that. She said she said Jeremiah or Conrad for real. Oh my god, that's crazy. I, I think that's crazy. You said it I don't know if it is for but for me at the time, that 100 percent was. Wow. I, I want to know how they didn't know and they live like two doors down. They definitely they had to have known. They had to have known. Wow. You must got it like that. That's all I gotta say. I mean, go you, go you, uh, team Conrad always, bro. Let me, let me know. Let me know if you guys are team Conrad, but this is crazier than the Dilf. This one's actually, I think this one does top the Dilf. This is, this is the most kind of crazy one right now. I think having like, dude, think of it. Three of them, Jeremiah, Conrad and belly all in the same apartment complex. And she's, she's playing both of them at the same time. Wow, I don't, I don't know how to feel. It's crazy. Anyways, because you saw how it worked out for Miss Girl, okay? I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I gotta get to season two, so don't spoil it for me. Um, okay. Uh, my mom baked a pie for an event when I was younger, and I dropped it getting into the car. But I said it was my brother who dropped it. I haven't told a soul, and I still feel horrible. You should, because I don't know if your brother was younger, but his mom, your mom, probably still thinks about that to this day. I guarantee it. She probably looks at, at her son with a little, little, a little bit of shame. It's like, one time you fucked up the 4th of July. You fucking dropped a pie. Little shit. I think this would be a great, like, um, w when you graduate or, like, when you, when you, if you guys are interested, if you, like, even drink. I'm not saying you have to drink to, like, have a good conversation or a good time. But it's, like, it could be one of those where you guys are having a good time. And you just, like, you let it out there. Like, hey, you know that pie that uh, I, you know, Johnny dropped or whatever? Like, it was actually me. 
You know what I mean? And it can be like a little funny moment. Like, wait, what? Like, I don't know. That was his village or villain origin story. Yeah, I want to get a brother update. How? Like, so did you, is he just known as like a liar now? Like, he's being gaslit? Like, what's going on here? Brother's taking the, the brother's doing the time right now. For real. No, but uh, uh, in reality, I would be the the little brother. I blame everything on my brother, dude. That's what that was literally me. My sisters will always blame me for everything, like for this being left out. Someone ate all this. I'm like, bro, what? I just got home. Like, what the hell? If, if Red feeling personally attacked by that one, war flashbacks, indeed, man, indeed. And like, I wasn't a liar, but like, there have I've had my moments. So like. Anytime my sisters automatically blame me, if it was them two against me, I lost. I lost, bro. The pie, my fault, bro. Sorry, moms. Um, Alyssa said, I had to, uh, I'm sorry I have to leave, but I'm going out. I'll talk to you later. Have a good stream. Can't wait to watch the VOD. I'll put it on uh, YouTube or something like that. Maybe I'll save it for like a live, uh, the like edited video or something like that. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll see you sometime, Alyssa. You're good. Thank you for coming in, though. I appreciate you. Thank you for the love. Nah, the dipping the toothbrush. Don't bring that back. Oh my god. Me and my sister did the same thing to my brother. Tori, you're evil. No way. Do you still do that? Bro, give the brother a break, man. Trust me, it hurts out here when you feel like when something genuinely is not your fault and you're and you're like already like admit that no one's gonna believe you anyways. That shit fucking it's heavy, bro. It's heavy. No, okay, good. Anyways, what kind of pie was it? I'm sorry. Whoa. Whoa. Anonymous with the $25 donation? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Yo. I wish I could have... Uh, Anonymous with the 25 I don't know if you didn't mean to put your name or if that was uh, on accident. What? Anonymous, thank you for the dono. What the heck? Yo, that's crazy. That's big. T thank you for the... <laughs> thank you. I've been listening while I'm working because they're like three hours long. I love that, bro. Seriously. Thank you. I'm trying to work on more content. I'm kind of slacking, bro. But we're going to play some VR tonight. Some VR chat. Hopefully, we get some funny moments. I'm speaking from the heart. 100%, bro. Because you just don't understand. Like, when you genuinely didn't do anything. And you're fucking screaming. Almost crying. Telling your heart out. Like, yo, I didn't do this. Like, I swear in my life. And you're being told or looked at as a liar. It, it sucks. It really does. Um. Anyways, we'll go to the next one, man. And anyway, You need to tell the truth, bro. It must come out. I know you said you haven't told a soul. Somebody's got to know, man. So it's not that bad. Like, if I was your mother, I wouldn't be upset. If I was your brother, that's a different story. Y'all can take that up between the two of you. And I'm not paying for the therapy. Uh, I have moved my Hinge profile to certain areas to match with certain people. Um, This one's interesting. I have moved my Hinge profile to certain areas to match with certain people. This, this one feels like kind of like... It's giving Joe Goldberg a little bit. Yes, it was meant to be anonymous. Don't worry about it. Well, anonymous, I'll I'll leave that to you, bro. Thank you, dude. You don't need to donate again for that. Thank you, anonymous, bro. You're good. Save your money, please. <laughs> Thank you for the twenty-five and the seven, seven, seven. Thank you so much. But please, save my money, please. Thank you. Thank you, Joe Goldberg. Like, like, is it is it not giving Joe Goldberg a little bit, like? Like, think about it. That's low-key, like, I don't want to say stalker behavior, but that's, it's getting there. Like, I really want to match with this person. Like, I'm going to go over here. Unless, like, nah, that's that, I don't know. Me trying to find one guy. Yeah, see, at, the, at that point, you're going crazy. Like, why go out of all this way to go to certain areas on Hinge to match with somebody when there, there's literally, it's called hidden, sliding in the DMs, bro. Literally, it's one move. One move. Wow, I don't. I listen. It says a judgment free zone. But listen, man. I know we all have a whole phase. I'm, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, go have your fun, man. I hope they uh matched or whatever how the hinge works. Uh. Okay. Now next one. Uh, when I was ten years old, I spent so much money on Candy Crush that my mom thought she had credit card fraud, and every time she asked me, I denied it. She had to get a new credit card. I generally didn't know uh, that it was me that did it until I clicked a few years ago. So technically, I didn't lie. I was just stupid. 
Well, you didn't lie. I was just stupid. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's pretty much me. Story of my life, bro. Um, <laughs> dude, to be 10 years old and spending so much money on Candy Crush out of all the games, dude, like, I want to know what you're playing nowadays. I just got to know. I got to know. Just stupid. Yeah, just, just stupid. It's so real. Um, it's okay. You were a child. Yeah, true, bro. You were 10 years old. Um, I don't think... I don't want to say that everybody has, like, this kind of thing, but I feel like a lot of us don't really understand, like, the form of, like, money and how it works, so we feel like we can just buy a bunch of stuff. I did that with Clash Clans, like, way back. Um, what the fuck do you even buy in Candy Crush? I think you just buy extra lives, bro. How bad were you at Candy Crush? <laughs> okay, that, this, one ain't, this one ain't bad, but it, it's, uh, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. Um, no pun intended, because, like, you get it? Like, Candy Crush. Okay. Next one. I stalked a I stalked a boy on social media I saw in a plant nursery and it ended up calling the next day in a granny voice telling the person on the other phone about a young man who helped me out just so I could get his name bro so we got stalkers we got criminals in the chat I I need to like step I need to like take a walk bro this is like definition this is definition of being down bad. I said Joe Goldberg before. This is worse. You had to put on a granny voice to... What, like, what? Why can't you just be your, your regular voice? Why you gotta alter it? So I could just get his name. There's no shot. You stalked the boy on social media. No way. There's no way. Okay, this is Joe Goldberg for sure. Y'all. Y'all. I thought I, I... You think you know someone, man. Can you let her get her mans? Okay, but like, man, like that's not real. You got to think in the future, bro. Think, okay, maybe this is a bit drastic, but think if you guys actually hit it off and you got married or something, you like, or you guys are going on a date, right? Five dates in. So like, tell me like, uh, when you first saw me, what did you think of me? Or like, how did, you know, how did you find me? Or, you know, oh, I stalked you. you. You know, you were watering plants and I just, 3 p.m. every day, I just, couldn't help myself but just keep looking at you until I found your social media. Like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, how romantic, how great to tell your kids that, right? Like, come on, man. Like, why are we getting pulled up to the nursery later? Oh, like, this, uh, this kind, buff, hot, juicy little gentleman, um, you know, he helped me get my plants, and I came back next week, and he was there again, and we just hit it off, and it was great, right? It's like, <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. That's crazy. I might have to call somebody, bro. How are, I hope you guys are good. I, I don't know. Anyways, do you see little gentleman as well? I don't know, bro. Little buff man. I don't know. You know how girls be. I feel like Rhett would do worse. You you think I would do something worse than this? Worse than this? I'm trying to even think. Like when I was younger and you see like those little baddies at the mall. Like that you would do like a double take. You'd be like, dang, bro. Like. It's the love of my life. But it wouldn't ever go anything from there. And you couldn't, like, search them up on anything because you didn't even know their name. So it's like, you just end up brokenhearted and you, you walk out. And that's it. That's your life. It's a wrap. It's not really that deep. But uh, th this, is, this is next level stuff right here. Um, <laughs> a little harmless stalking, bro. Harmless. I don't know. I think this one, this one tops. Uh, I mean, you literally said I stalked a boy. You you knew what you're doing, bro. That's crazy. Do my best DM slide impression right now. I don't even know what I would do. Hey. I don't know. Three three Ys is so whack, but. Nah, Jojo, that's crazy. I'm the type of person to work out an extra hour just to see what type of car. Bro, I work out at the gym at 3 and 4 a.m. The only people that are in there is this, this girl that's like 50 years old and this other grandma and like some other dude that's been hitting the gym for like four months. That's it. There's like three people in there. And the reason I like going to 4 a.m. is because there's like a little bucket of these like uh, Tootsie Fruitsie things. It's like this little purple candy thing. And I just grab it. I grab a handful every time. And the other day when I went to the gym, I was doing the Stairmaster, and since it was night shift, they were cleaning. And I went back like five times. I would like hit the Stairmaster, grab a handful, eat them all, and go on the Stairmaster, get all, get, oh, yo, I'm so good. Thank you.
Anonymous, thank you for the five gifted. Yo, we got Anonymous coming in with a five. Yo, holla. Did you see what JoJo said? Thank you. Um, About the gym thing? Yeah, I saw that. I read that. I read that. But that's not true. I just, I literally just responded. What do you mean, did I see what JoJo? I responded. I was literally responding, bro. Damn, bro. Uh, Anonymous, thank you so much for the five, yo. Thank you. I give serial killer stalker vibes. Nah, man. It, it, for me, it's not that deep. I don't think it's worth stalking somebody. Like I said, you got to think deeper into the shit. Like, if, if the case scenario was like you were going to marry this person, how are you going to tell your story? You can't fabricate the whole your whole life. You can't lie about it. The thing I think about is like, okay, if I, let's say I did lie about it, how long until I talk in my sleep and then be like, yo, I stalked you uh, through the, the plant nursery and I looked you up on Instagram and then uh, I, I changed my location to get with you on Hinge. Like, you know what I'm saying? And she's like, what was all that about last night? Like nursery rhyme stalking? Uh, oh, nothing, sweetie, nothing. You know what I mean? Okay, next one. Let's get out of here, bro. Let's get out. I, 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 yo, you guys are creepy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> um, did you see him? Okay, shut up. Anyways, uh, the other day I was out partying and my friend got way too drunk and decided to throw up slash spit in a cup of salsa left out on the table at our friend's house. Gr fucking gross. Uh, I told her to throw it away, but um, she said to leave it there because she was still using it. Anyway, we left the friend's house and I completely forgot about the whole thing literally till now and that cup of salsa was left on the table. I really hope no one used it. Literally makes me want to throw up thinking about it. Not the electric chair. Okay, next. That's crazy, bro. I, I don't even know what to think. I don't even know what to think. I don't know what to say. That That's wild. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know. My, dude, my heart's racing, bro. I don't, I don't know what's going on, bro. Okay. <laughs> that's wild. That's wild. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think we got maybe a serious one. Sometimes I feel like I'm wasting time going to college because I'm not thriving. I switched my major to one more or to one that's more interesting, but I don't feel satisfied. Uh, sometimes I wish I could just travel and live a little. Then after I found myself, I could theoretically go back to college and continue my studies. My parents would not approve, but sometimes I feel like we need to live a little and enjoy life. That way life can be more exciting and we're not just doing what is expected of us. Of course, this would realistically only work if money wasn't an issue. Yeah, big retweet. Um, I don't know. Uh, it seems like you already have like a good head in your shoulders. Like you're sort of like already aware of all this. And, you know, I don't, I, I understand that feeling of like your parents not approving. And I, I said this once before and I'll say it again. Um, but I always think into the future, uh, it kind of again with the last thought, but I always think like, okay, let's say when my, uh, you know, God forbid, you know, anytime, anytime soon, but let's say my parents are all gone. Or anyone that ever, like, I ever took any direction or, like, I listened to them and they told me what to do in my life or told me what to do with my life. If they were not here, they were no longer here, would I be satisfied with my life, with, with what I'm doing? You know what I mean? And uh, I feel like that was, like, a good thing to think about when it's like, okay, I'm pursuing something that I truly want to do. And it's like, I feel like you could always fall back, like, on trying to go to college or going with a nine to five job not saying that that is just like settling not saying that that's a bad thing but if you've got a dream if you've got something that you want to pursue now is the time it doesn't matter if you're 25 fucking 30 40 like if you've got time to do it send it send it because you can only you can always sort of like fall back and and sort of like do something that's a little bit more consistent or something that's a little bit more uh like a cushion of protection i guess uh i get i know not everybody wants to be an entrepreneur not everyone wants to be like an artist or a singer, but whatever your dream is, if that's like fucking going out more and traveling or maybe, um, fuck, I don't know what, there's so many different things you can do out there. You do, it, it truly is about just like enjoying life and, and whatever it means to you exactly. I'm not sure, but, um, yeah, the money, the money is the hard part, but, uh, I, I think that if you put your head down for maybe like a year or so and you just maybe had like two jobs like, fuck school for now, right? 
fuck doing your your side hustle whatever you want to do work your two jobs grind 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 save that money and then figure out like okay i've got this much how do i make this work right aunt jemima what's good baby how are you what's going on i wish i was rich bro i feel like like there, there's that common um uh argument where it's like oh money can't buy happiness and but i feel like a lot of us can relate that like money would change so much for us but at the same time like my my buddy has like a bunch of money um he knows like a lot of like famous like rich people he's in the nba right so like he's around it a lot and time and time again he always says it's not the answer for like everything like you, you truly can't have all the money but there's just some things you cannot buy for example you know just pure happiness enjoyment with your life you can't buy necessarily like more time for yourself you can't buy more time for your family to an extent maybe if you want to like be like oh like if they're sick and you you know pay for like their medical bills yes of course but um we're all like we all got a certain amount of time on this world bro you got to fucking make some of it uh i just graduated last december and honestly total waste of time i finished for my mom but i'm making more money at my current job than i could in my field and some of my family uh judge without knowing why it's a better choice and i would say let him judge let him stay mad or, or leave him wondering and i would just say prove him wrong at the end of the day just keep going with what you fully believe in because that will leave you the happiest and most satisfied with your life at the end of the day you don't want to be like still going to school or doing whatever job you could get that they would approve of and just like fucking it feel like you're wasting your life bro you're gonna wake up fucking just mad at the world nobody wants that right no way you're still from last night bro that's fucking wild i'm glad you're doing good we're doing some anonymous confessions right now it's getting a little deep it's getting crazy too we have a couple stalkers and a couple criminals in the chat um not me though not me <clears throat> i don't know i feel like a lot of this stuff i kind of re-preach re a lot and i don't want to be like you know uh i don't want to like word vomit on you guys and just whatever but truly if you want something, you just got to make it happen, man. You got to find every single will. Don't lie. Okay, I'm sorry. Also, hi, I didn't say hi to you. Hi, Karina. How are you? Hello, hello. Um, let's go to the next one, bro. I hope uh, at the end of the day, if you are in here or if you are watching this, listen to this, I hope that it does work out for you. I really think you got to stop thinking about everybody else, though. Fuck what your friends think, what your family think. Yeah, are they going to be disappointed for a little bit? They're probably not going to want to talk to you for a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. Are they going to be happier by the end of that choice? Are you happy with yourself? Are you going to be satisfied, right? Promise coming in. Thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you, bro. Promise. Thank you so much for the five. Dude, promise. You need to go to bed. You're talking about fixing your schedule, but you ain't fixing nothing. You ain't fixing nothing. We have one life. Choose to be happy. Exactly, man. Um... Uh, uh, I like this other one by, uh, what's his name? Like I said, if you're ever thinking about life like like this deep, in this sense, uh, Gary V, great guy to listen to, because he was saying that you could, um, you know, when we die, if, you know, however it works, if reincarnation is like an, an idea or a thing, what if we don't come back as a human, bro? What if we come back as like a shoe or a park bench? Like, being a human is it, that outnumbers that that does not compare to being a fucking shoe or a bench right this is great man we got something really special here it doesn't matter like i don't know i don't want to get into it too much but dude go crazy um okay okay now we're, we went from like super like motivational like i ate 13 carne asada tacos with bomb avocado salsa i hope it wasn't the salsa that someone spit in bro and six glasses of hibiscus i don't even know what that is Agua de Jam Jamaica. If you know, you know. When I was 13 years old. <laughs> I, I'm happy for you, bro. Lit. Yo, <laughs> I don't know what to say. 13 carne asada tacos and you're 13, bro. I mean, you'll go crazy. I'm actually surprised you could eat 13 tacos at 13 years old. I feel like at 13, I was like a little bitty. That sounds like a dream. I don't know what the the Jamaica, Aqua de Jamaica, if you know, you know. That gives me vibes of like the Cinco, back to the Baba, back to the Cinco. You know what I'm saying? This one made me laugh so hard when I was reading them. This is interesting, bro. 
It's like a medium. It's like purplish red. Uh, ha hamai hamaica. Oh, Jamaica. Oh, it's not Jamaica. Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My bad. It's just a wholesome and random. I, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm not I'm not being super judgy. I just think it's funny. But it's super random. I love it. Um, all right, let's go to the next one. Dude, thank you for sharing that. We're like halfway through. W. Um, shh, I'm about to come out. I'm bisexual. Also, I used to kiss all my girly pop besties at sleepovers when I was in first grade and second grade. So I guess that explains the bisexuality. I mean, um, congrats, bro. Lit. Let's go crazy. You're about to come out and bisexual. Nice. W. I'm glad you feel uh, uh, comfortable enough to like put that out there. I don't know what else to say, but love this for you. That's that's fire, bro. Kissing all the girly pops and the besties at sleepovers is crazy, though, I think. In first grade and second grade, I feel like the thought of, like, kissing... Oh, wait, can you still hear me? What was that? Is that my mouse? Y'all hear that? I feel like the thought of, like, kissing anybody in, like, first and second grade was, like, the most bizarre, like, grossest thing to me. Maybe it's because I was a guy, but, like, I remember, like, girls just grossed me out. Kissing in first grade? That's that's crazy. We can still hear you? Okay, bye, bye. sorry. I, did you hear that little... Doo -doo? Yeah, cooties for real, bro. You afraid of cooties? I still am. I, yeah, I mean, you should be, bro. Yeah, you can't just be fucking smooching up anybody nowadays, man. Yo, Aunt Jemima, thank you so much for the lurk, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yo, I hope you get some sleep tonight, by the way. I blamed me kissing girls on being a theater kid. I'm now out as bi. Congrats, love. <laughs> me kissing girls on being a theater. Yo. <laughs> so it wasn't, it's not like being gay or being bisexual. It's like, oh, I'm a theater kid. What is this? Uh, What is this little, what's this beep stuff? What is that? I don't know. I keep hearing a beep. Sounds like a noti. Um, okay. Sorry. Anyways. I don't know what it is. You think it's Discord? Really? Because I have it open. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> Alright, next one. Let's go. Uh, once I was drinking pina coladas with my stepmom and I opened my Snapchat and started texting my ex. And my ex. Uh, I don't remember what I said anymore, but I know it was bad. Very embarrassing. Pina coladas with my, with my stepmom. That sounds like a vibe. But texting your ex, bro, don't ever do that. You, you, like, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are like the type. I was watching JC stream and that girl Ariel was saying like she's still friends with her ex too. Uh, what, what's her ex? Uh, uh, Diplo or whatever. I don't know. I'm the person where it's like, if somebody does you wrong, man, you got to like block them. You got to remove them out of your life and just focus on you for a bit. You can't have that energy because it's so easy to want to like just reel yourself back in the in your life um x is wild but um hopefully it's not still to this day and, it, and if it is you know maybe you guys are doing good for yourself then i'm happy for you bro um like i said this isn't this is supposed to be a judgment free zone i'm just like trying to make like little jokes or just say a little thing here or two about it um uh but yeah i hope everything's good now <clears throat> drunk texting will get you it's dangerous Really? I don't know. Like, people will always be like, oh, like, um, I might get drunk tonight. Like, sorry if I tweet anything crazy. I never understood that because anytime I've ever been, like, sort of, like, drunk, I don't, I'm aware that uh, maybe I've just never been truly that drunk. But I'm aware of, like, what I'm doing, what I'm thinking, sort of, like, what I'm, like, able to say slash, like, how I'm able to act, like, walk-wise, right? Like, I, I know what my intention, my intentions are there. Is, is my words going to come out like fully understandable? I don't know. Am I going to be walking straight line? I don't know. But I don't really have the urge. Like, I, I don't get super drunk. I'm like, oh, I'm going to tweet some crazy, bro. Like, I, I just like, don't oh, I'll get on there. Maybe it's just, because I just don't like Twitter that much, but uh, I don't know. I've been drunk enough to say things I wouldn't say, but to tweet it, no. See, I get, I get the texting. I understand that because sometimes like... I don't know if you ever be thinking about someone like while being drunk, like for example, you know, texting the ex, um, I can't relate to that, but like, you know, maybe someone's on your mind, like, bro, I fucking like love this person. You ever like text someone you really love? It's like, you know, that can be super humble or uh, wholesome. 
Um, I feel like people don't really drunk text. They do it on purpose to blame it on being drunk. Or like, yeah, see, that's a, so I had a lot of girl best friends, um, like genuine like girl best friends in high school. And a lot of them would say that, like, show me stuff. Like, I, don't, I was that best friend, bro. Maybe they thought I was gay or something like that, but I don't know. They would show me, like, they, they would, like, be like, Rhett, what does this mean? What does this mean? And it's like, bro, like, they're, they're using the drunkness as an excuse to be able to say what they want to say without feeling super judged because they know if it flops, they're going to look like a fool and a dumbass. So they think that being drunk, like, lets that slide. I don't know. I just don't think it does. I don't think it excuses that behavior. I'm like, bro, this is this guy's clearly a fucking tool. Like, I don't know. That's just my opinion. JC's tool looks good. How are you? Yes, exactly. I don't if there's people like that, I don't know. Cause like I understand where Tess is coming from. Because like I, I've been like super wasted at one point. I went to like a party in LA and I remember like I was texting Myers like crazy. I was like, bro, I fucking love you. Like, thanks for changing my life. Like gen like I'm thankful, bro. Um, but I've never been in a sense of like, you know, like hidden on someone type. I feel like that's crazy. Uh, you definitely know what you're doing at that point. Georgia, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you. I appreciate that. You don't need to gift anything over here, but thank you for the sub love. Thank you. Oh boy. Do I get, yeah, see sappy. I get sappy. I get, um, but I hope you guys are all like, and, and uh, like I said, I don't mean to judge, but I hope like you guys are special. You guys are great people and you guys you guys deserve greatness um, in everything. I mean, well, some of y'all. So, th things are questionable over here right now. Um, but it fucking breaks my heart when someone gets, like, fucked over by some, like, uh, just some weird behavior or some, like, people being, like, I don't know. Uh, what is that notification, bro? What is that? <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, just just be careful, bro. Be careful. Um, let's go to the next one, bro. All right, during school... I always got bullied and picked on and beat up. Uh, I never wanted to fight back due to not wanting to miss days and miss work. But one day I had enough and I fought back. And I guess I was over my limit because I ended up choking the guy and almost killing him. Now I'm afraid to go back and be called a freak or a murderer even though I didn't mean to hurt him like in any way. I don't even have friends to back me up because they're all online. I don't know what to do. I've asked to be homeschooled and my grandma declined. I'm scared to be outcasted and possibly hurt someone again. Dude, that's crazy. I don't even, um, that's crazy. I guess the, like, dude, yeah, I don't know what to say. I, I, I don't know either. I, I can kind of like relate, not in like the killing sense, but, um, your fight or flight really does kick in. Like, I remember when I was about to be jumped in the bathroom, bro. And I just like, I freaked out and I was like super overthinking of how people would perceive me. Uh, but I feel like at the end of the day, it, uh, dude, what is that? What is that, bro? I think it's something disconnecting and connecting from my computer. Really? I know what it is. I got it. It was my VR set. It was my VR set. Um, jumped in the bathroom. Yeah, bro. I, I don't want to tell the story again, like all of it crazy, but basically a guy stole my phone. I lied to him about having the money to buy it back from him because I'm not going to buy my own phone back. That's stupid as hell. And then I got my phone back because I told on him. And then when I was in the bathroom, him and his homies were in the bathroom. And, you know, that's how that worked out. Um, fuck around, find out. I did. I found out, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, but I, I feel like if you ever watch the, this movie, it's called uh, Breakfast Club. I feel like that is a really good movie. Um, to watch because you kind of get you get different aspects and perspectives of all these people and you realize that we truly are human and just because one person's life looks better than another doesn't mean it's all like sunshine and rainbows over there um i liked it for that reason anyway because i felt like i was always like sort of an outcast or like you know i got bullied and picked on beat up like um i don't know i i like to think that's school like what people think it is so temporary um I would say like the bullying the beat up part like i would go to somebody for that but a lot of what people think and what they may say of course it might hurt but once you graduate nobody you don't, nobody gives a fuck and, and you shouldn't give a fuck either i i know i, know I don't i don't anymore i even uh, up until like earlier uh last year or later last year like november december I, w I was still caring what people thought about me but something switched within the last few months just don't give a fuck i'm i'm 
here for a good time. I'm gonna just enjoy it. Uh, but I hope everything I think is better though. I don't know. I don't know. Say that. that this one's kind of crazy. This one's kind of crazy. But um, I let go of everything that happened to me in high school. Maybe it sculpts me into who I am, but it doesn't weigh on my mind. Yeah, you don't trip about it. Yeah, it's and it's not worth. Even if you did worry about it, truly, it doesn't change who you are, right? The the things people said because they're they're living their best life right now. Or let maybe they are. Maybe they're not. But a lot of times, bullying is jealousy. It's very true too. Um. I'm on lunch break at work, so I just want to say a quick uh, hi. What up, Fiona? Fiona Dale. What's good? What's good? Ever got a fight? I've gotten in multiple fights, but I was like this person right here. I never wanted to fight back because um, I worked for the school. And when I was younger, I was like, I wasn't like a snobby stuck up teacher's pet, but I wanted to be that good kid because my home life wasn't that great. So like my teachers were like truly like my friends, you know, I would go and eat my lunch with them all the time. Whoever would let me in. Um... So I didn't want to like ruin the chances with anything. I don't know. So it was kind of mostly like beat up simulator, but like yeah, I'm the I'm the punching bag. <laughs> Yo, uh, Kaylee, uh, Kishore says first up chatter. Always watching the vods on YouTube. What's well, good? Thanks for coming in. We're doing some confessions right now. We're about halfway through right now. Um, we're on 25 out of 48, so we got somewhere to go through. If you'd like to stay, but welcome in. <clears throat> Yeah, people who think they're better than, than others outside of high school have nothing for them. I promise you, I promise you, the people that literally, like, like talk to you, like, like down like they're better than you, or act like they are, like, all high and mighty in high school, look at them now. They are... I, I, I shouldn't go... I didn't I want to get into it. Just... You're right. You're right. If you got a good heart, good intentions, you're okay. Um... Let's go to the next one. Uh, one time, I actually took my sister's phone upstairs thinking it was mine. So I just put it in a room instead of bringing it back down. And she still brings up how confused she is that it got up there. I never told her. So you're like, so you're kind of gaslighting, bro. Just tell her. Just be honest. I thought this was going to go somewhere else. I was like, wait, what's going to happen? I thought you were going to like find something or or what? Or maybe like lie or what? Um, I mean, you could just leave her confused forever. She just thinks that like her phone's haunted or something. Actually, you should keep doing this. You should keep like moving your phone. If she puts it on the kitchen counter, she goes to like get a glass of milk or something. Move it like to the table. But not every day, just every so often. And keep doing that. And, and make it like a print. Like even if you don't see her every day. The next time you see her, do it again. The next time you see her, do it again. That'd be funny. That'd be funny. Gaslight gave keep girl boss. That's on period. Next one. I really wanted a cookie on the way home from school, but I had to pee so bad. And while I was standing in line to pay for my cookie, I peed on the floor and ran out like nothing happened. My question exactly. So did you pay for the cookie? Uh, yo, you peed on the floor and ran out like, hello? So you're just sitting there like, yeah, I'll take one chocolate chip Subway cookie, please. One macadamia nut. And you just got fucking piss going down your leg, dripping on the floor, and you just run out. Like, what were you wearing? Like, I'm trying to think like you're like, they're not hearing like the sloshing noise while as you're run like. Like, oh, do you guys have a restroom? Like, you bought something, bro. You can use the bathroom at least if you do some service there. Like, come on. I, I would maybe understand, like, may this is a very, like, I'm stretching a little bit. Maybe you understand peeing on the floor if they were like, yo, you can't use the bathroom unless you buy something if you had no money for even a cookie. I would get it. I would get it. The sloshing? Bro, those pant legs, they had... To, nah, it doesn't just, like... It doesn't just it's not metallic or magnet it doesn't go on the floor it travels down i mean i don't know I, I don't know how that works for you i don't know i won't ask any more questions next one so backstory i was best friends with this girl and i transferred schools i stopped talking to her shortly after i transferred because she started becoming friends with the person who made me transfer uh from bullying wait let me read that i stopped talking to her shortly after i transferred because she started becoming friends okay with your bully like a month later i realized i hurt so much because i was in love with her and I'm bi. This is a few years ago, and we still haven't talked, and very few people know about my sexuality. She also had a girlfriend when I left, and I think they're still dating. 
damn, that is heartbreak, bro. That is heartbreak. I don't know. If you think that they're still dating, then I would... If, if they weren't dating, then I would say, like, you know, drop her a message, say what's up. I feel like the transferring... The transferring school, like, heartbreak love, is... It, that's too real. That is, uh... I remember... So, I've said this on stream multiple times, but... Uh, like I said, not to make it about me, but this girl, uh, uh, Jaden was her name and we were dating for like mm, a few solid months. And my mom, I told my mom, I was like, mom, I got a girlfriend and that's cool. This was like what? Seventh grade, sixth grade. And I was like, yeah, mom, I got a girlfriend. And she, uh, had asked me her name and stuff. She's like, no way. Like I'm best friends with her dad or like I'm friends with her dad. We went to school together, blah, blah, blah. We used to date funny story. And I'm like, whoa, wait, that's kind of cool though. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's like, you know, family functions are about to be lit. <laughs> uh, anyways, um, uh, like a couple months after we started dating, we had to move to Louisiana and it was just on Valentine's Day. Last day of school uh, for me anyways, because I was about to move. She fucking, I didn't think we were doing it because I was leaving, but she brought me like a fucking big ass heart chocolate thing, roses, a bear. I didn't bring shit. I didn't bring anything, bro. Not to be rude. I'm, I wasn't one of those guys where I'm like, I don't. I don't need to get her anything. It, I didn't expect her to get me anything. I just thought we knew about that. It's so awkward, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah. Imagine last day of school, like early in the morning, like y'all meet up in the hallway and it's like you bump into her. She's got all this stuff for you. And you're like, like, damn, you want your chocolate back at least? Like, I'm not going to lie. Best 12 hour drive to Louisiana ever because I ate the fuck out of those chocolates, dude. The, the little uh, rectangle ones, the dark chocolate with that strawberry cream. <sighs> Banging. Banging. Anyways, um... Yeah, I, I would say, I don't know. Maybe you could reach out to this person. Maybe you could send a little message. That'd be great. I, I think they would probably uh, think, like, oh, like, they're still, they think about me, you know? That'd be cool. Also, the one was the orange cream fire, too. She probably cried on the way home. I'm not going to lie. I was going through, like, my Instagram follows at one point, and I think I, I saw her, and I was going to, like, message her and be like, yo, I'm so sorry for, like, seventh grade Valentine's Day. But I was like, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> Did you at least write her a letter during school? Uh, I think we made, I don't know. It was like, bro, we were young. Like just before that year, there was a new girl that transferred named Sophia and everyone had the biggest crush on her. And she made us um, do like a, a whole marathon, like a triathlon. Like we had to make a basketball shot, uh, run, like do the sprint across like this gravel courtyard. And then we had to be the first one on top of the slide and go down it and come back to her. And the first one back got a kiss and could date her. And uh, guess who won, motherfucker? No, I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. I actually won. It was, it, but she said she would have chose me either way. Um, so that, like, that's type of relationships. Like, we were young, bro. It's young love. It wasn't like heartfelt, like it is like when you get older. Like, oh, I'm gonna write her a letter. I'm gonna send her some flowers. I'm gonna, you know, do like these little things that mean a lot. It's just like she made y'all work, bro. We had to sweat. We had to sweat. She's a legend, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, being like the new kid or like having like that the the new kid or whatever, it's like the biggest, like the hype, most hype thing ever. It also causes like so much jealousy. I found out too. All the girls are like, you know what I mean? Anyways, she knew her worth. Yeah, hundred percent, man, hundred uh, percent. This one says, "I feel like I'm destined for more. All I do is sit in my room and rot, and I feel like this isn't what I'm supposed to be doing, bro. This yo." Yo, who hacked my notes app? I know it isn't. It's just hard to know how to stop and how to start doing what I'm really supposed to be doing when in reality, I have no idea who I am. Bro, this is like, this is like the second like realest one tonight that I don't even know like how to like decipher or like figure out how to like inspire and motivate you in a way that can maybe hit someone else in a certain way too. Because I, I genuinely relate. I question a lot of my days spent in my room. I love what I do, of course, streaming, like I would not be anything without it, but I'm talking about like off behind scenes, you know, I'm a depressed sack of shit and I just, I don't know who I am either, bro. I have a lot of questions in this world, but I feel like, um, eventually it's just going to hit and your brain's just going to be like, bro, like I'm, 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 I'm sick of this. It's like you get to a point where you're, you're really just fed up with it. Um, I, like I said, I, I want to try to experiment with therapy more and I'm hoping that that will maybe change my mindset. So I don't want to be that person that pushes something on you like that. Um, but I'm, like I said, I, I want to look into it a little bit more because I feel like it might help. Um, 
but this is so real bro i hope you have some comfort knowing i saw some people say so real real um people relate to that so uh you were you were literally not alone plus i feel like early 20s mid 20s like after you graduate high school maybe during high school there's like this period where there's all these expectations weighing on you from your parents from your teachers you've got to figure out what the fuck we, we've been having to plan out what we want to do since we were like three years old it's like motherfucker i don't even know how to count to five yet and you're asking me if i want to be an astronaut or a fucking doctor like i i don't even have like the grades for that yet I don't, am i even going to be able to have those grades it's it's a very like weird question that i feel like like y'all you guys can't teach us like how to pay taxes and like how to properly maybe do laundry or like how to cook like all this stuff that might be handy and it could do a lot more than just like pressuring kids like okay you need to pick something pick a school pick a career you know uh so i feel like that's why a lot of us just end up like sitting in bed just fucking bored depressed stressed just wondering like okay what the fuck am i supposed to be doing because everyone else seems to be able to have it figured out but i don't know rep for president <laughs> maybe one day i'm kidding yeah, late teens, early 20s, absolute worst when it comes to starting your life. Yeah, because it's... But from what I've heard, from what I've heard, when you get a little bit older, you know, 25, 26, 27, early 30s, you you sort of start to, like, things just sort of click for you. And, uh, and things truly do get better. That's what they all say. So I'm keeping their word. And I think that's one thing that kind of keeps me going a little bit. I know that it does get better. It may not be now, may not be tomorrow, next week, next month, but it eventually. Maybe not even next year. I feel like I've been in like a depressed state for like four years now. The pressure was and still is real. I don't know if you can relate, but. I thought it would be better by now, though. Yeah, I, I like to think so, too. Not sure. Just gotta push through yeah i don't know i wish you guys the best of luck though it's stressful but thank you for sharing that makes me feel com more comfortable thanks it makes me feel better about rotting my bed in primary school i used to sneak into this tunnel on the playground to kiss boys <laughs> Yo. okay this one ain't bad i mean <laughs> this is kind of funny actually dude like this one's like uh i don't like whatever like me and my friends, we used to sneak into this little tunnel and we would draw like, um, I don't know who would draw like the, the coolest dick or like, like who would draw like the word fuck and not get in trouble. Like we would, we would draw like bad stuff in there. Anyways. Yeah. Kissing. That's crazy, bro. Like I said, when I was a uh, wait, primary school. So you're proper lad, bro. I don't even know if they're in here since you're a little British probably, but how old are you in primary school? Cops and robbers in elementary school. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, I'm still like picking my nose. I'm like, you know, still sneezing and snot comes out every time. Like, I can't control my face muscles and stuff. Like, anyways, that's crazy. One time I went to sit on the mat at school and I fell over and farted. I was, I was so embarrassed. I feel. Why, why, why do I feel like this is the same person just talk? Look, look, school I, lowercase. School, I like this is probably the same person just tell like, they're just airing they're airing out all their dirty laundry, bro. They're just like this one time, uh, I I, I peed one time, I farted one, <laughs> one time, I kissed a boy in a tunnel. Oh my goodness, bro, <laughs> bro. Oh my God, bless her soul. There's this girl. Um, I don't uh, I don't want to say her name, but uh, so we were in English class and we were taking like a very important test, like the not is it SAT ACT. It's an important test at the end of the year. And I'm sitting like uh, these wooden chairs. And this girl, you know, she was a little bit on the, the bigger side. So she really couldn't like fit in her chair properly. So the way that she was, she was angled in her chair. Um, it was like, uh, I don't know how to explain it. But she ripped one. And it was so hard not to laugh, bro. I felt so bad. But it was like a proper, like it reverberated the whole room. And I saw the teacher's reaction. Everybody just lost it in the middle of this test, bro. Oh my gosh. And I think for like 20 minutes, and it's one of these like the time test where you like 
have 30 minutes for math, 20 minutes for this, 10 minutes for this reverb because it was like on the on the it was like a wooden chair, bro. In like like it like a it sounded like a like it was a vibrating, but it was a fart vib vibrating. It like echoed too. Um, you know, super small classroom. Like I'm telling you, like if your stomach growled, that was my biggest fear. My stomach growl and someone thinking I farted. But like she just let loose. Reverberate is great. I swear in my life, because it was the loudest fart I've ever heard in class. And it made me not so scared for like if I farted, you know? A 4D fart. You could really say it was IMAX for sure. Um, I mean, she ended up laughing about it. That's why I was like, bless her. Like, you know what I mean? I hope she's not like still tripping about it to this day. But oh man, I just remember that. Wow. Farting in school is so crazy. I don't know if I've ever had like an embarrassing fart story. I'm trying to think. Like, like if I've ever farted. Like I've said, I've only like made like a noise like with my stomach or like my shoe or like i've moved my desk or my butt made a certain noise and i like try to recreate it so people didn't think but anyways <laughs> hi jazz how are you hello anyways it, it was it was funny because we ended up having to get like extra time um on our on our test at the end of it basically i don't, I don't know if that was worth saying but i don't know love you uh classmate sorry <laughs> She not even gonna she not even watches. Uh <laughs> oh. Okay, we got a okay, we got a little uh little story time here. Oh, okay. This is kind of dumb. I feel like this is very TikTok-esque. Uh, but when I was in elementary school, I had some sticky fingers. From time to time, we would switch desks or we would move classrooms. Now everyone's desk had the standard books and supplies, but some kids also had cool erasers and pens and pencils and whatnot. It's not that bad. But from time to time, I would indulge in stealing, stealing things from people's desk. Um, I take a, a pull apart grape eraser and some other cool looking erasers and a multicolor pen. I think it was a Hello Kitty type pen. Never got caught. I also used to eat grass. And... Okay, so this was the one that wasn't kissing the boys in the tunnel. Uh, it was kind of spicy. The grass was spicy? But I've learned from my ways now and robbed the elderly. Jake joking about the robbing the elderly. Yeah, I indulging in indulgent stealing is quite the phrase right there. Um I don't even know what to say. I I like I I pray for you. I relate to having like some some sticky fingers. I thought you were I thought you had one of those sticky hands that you throw. And you were like sticking it on people or something. I, I didn't know where this was going, but I don't know. Was it? I don't know. N robbing grannies, bro. I what? I feel like they're low key not joking. Like because all of this, like I feel like you can't really make up from the grape eraser, the Hello Kitty, everything down to the last minute detail. You've got it down pat. And you say, but I've learned my ways and now I rob the elderly. You've definitely stolen something from some old lady and, and you thought you could just slide it in as a joke so you could pass it off so God would think you're joking and you're valid, but you're not. And I know what you did. God knows what you did. And now we all do too. And, and a poor lady or poor man, whatever you stole from them, you better give it back if that's even possible. But I fully believe you're not joking. All right. Anyways, you tell him. I I'm going to let him know, okay? Anyways. <laughs> all right. I like to figure out where the guy I talk to lives. It's weird how some men are so oblivious to safety, particularly when it comes to dating. They unknowingly make it easy to find their address. They tell me what they live near or send pictures of the view from their window. Unprovoked, it's a weird game of hide and seek. Where I go on Street View and Google Maps like a curious detective. But fear not, dear gentlemen, for I'm just a harmless observer. Their lack of caution is worrying, though. What if I were to embrace my mischievous side? What if I pulled up right now? Okay, so... You said, fear not, dear gentlemen, I'm just a harmless observer. That is not what that is. That is, like, you can get sued for that, I'm pretty sure. There might be charges, bro. Uh, so, I don't know if you're the same person that was with the we've had like we have like three stalkers in here i'm scared i've posted pictures like not too far from my house this is crazy this okay th there's a lot to unfold um like 
I, I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say. I feel like I'm reading a script from like season five of you. Literally. We're outside. That's crazy. You said, what if I were to embrace my mischievous side? What if I pulled up right now? Like, that's scary. That's scary. Like, okay, like, not to make it weird, but if my if my girl was like, oh, yeah, like, I'm going to pull up to your house, like, you know, like, there's a way that you can be flirty with me, like, oh, yeah, like, you can pull up, like, you know, parents aren't home. Wh where you at? What you doing? But if she was like, you know, if I was like, hey, parents aren't home, and she was like, oh, I might have to embrace my mischievous side. What if I pulled up, like, I found you on Google Maps, ha ha. I might be locking my doors. I might be calling my parents. I might be asking for them to come home. Lock your doors for real. Um, that's definitely Ed. That's crazy, bro. Um, I don't know. I, I don't mean to judge you too much, but this is this is wild. Oh, I, I kind of like, I understand like people are probably a little bit too oblivious for their safety because I feel like a lot of times it's easy to get distracted like on your phone or something like that. But I'm scared. I'm <laughs> the lack of caution is worrying though like like I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're like what like a semi good stalker like you know what I mean like you're probably the type to like stalk them and like you like lock their door for them and then you shut it like hey by the way I locked your door I noticed your back door wasn't locked I got that like <laughs> I noticed you tripped on the stick by the way outside your house and that rock I took care of those for you you know what I mean like <laughs> yo that's crazy you're just a harmless observer. Well, I hope it stays that way. I hope that doesn't change. And, and hopefully I didn't upset you enough to like, you know, hopefully I don't make a, a movie or another show about this called like uh, You and Me or something. I don't know. Let's get... <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks for sharing that, I guess. Uh, <laughs> now, this, nah, that's got to be, that, there's just, okay. There's got to be like one stalker. This got to be the nursery person. This has definitely evolved. This is like a Pokemon, you know, it, it started from like a little like hinge thing. Oh, let me change my location to like, okay, I changed my location. He doesn't want me. I DM'd him. He doesn't want me. I'm going to find out where he works. Still doesn't want me. I talked to her grandma voice. Doesn't want me. Now you tracked him down through Google Maps. Um, I don't know if we're going to get a new update, but I don't know. I'll watch the news. Joking, by the way, that was a really bad joke. Uh, during my first year of dorming in college, my roommate at the time went away two days earlier than me for spring break. Me and my friends decided to have a little drinking party in my room since it was one of the biggest in the residence hall. Long story short, one of my friends decided to invite some of her friends over and ended up puking all over my roommate's rug and bed sheets. Fucking gross. I panicked. Like, how do you, like, okay. I panicked and immediately washed everything to get rid of the awful smell. But when it came to drying the rug, I ended up destroying it in the process. I felt so bad. I bought her a new carpet because the smell of, oh my god. The smell of puke wouldn't go away, and the whole carpet was a mess. Fast forward to the following week, my roommate comes back, notices I washed her sheets. How did she notice you washed her sheets? And asked about her carpet. I just said I ended up staining her carpet with lasagna. And I went to wash it, I damaged it by accident. She said it was okay. But I never ended up telling her because someone puked over her stuff. No way. Poor girl is sleeping, and someone's like, ugh. Oh. Nah, you, you have to tell her. You have to tell her because... She's sleeping in that, man. She's sleeping in that. Like, not even, like, bed bugs and, like, bed puke, bro? From somebody else? Oh, my God. And when you drink puke, like, everything comes up. Oh, my gosh. I I'm thinking of, like... How the, how does it get to the point where you're puking all over the roommate's rug and the bed sheets? At one point where you're like, okay, I'm throwing up a lot. Maybe I should grab a trash can. Or like, maybe I should go to the bathroom. That's wild. Wow. And to blame it on lasagna, bro. Now, she, now poor girl probably hates lasagna. Fighting is the only answer. You, scrapping after that for sure, huh? The mattress will never be clean again. It doesn't matter what you do to that. You could do a million of those carpet cleaning videos on that, on everything. And, and, and even this, what you just confessed, and it would not, it would not change a thing. It would not clean it one bit. They messed up with that. They just throw up everywhere. I'm just mad. Like, oh my goodness. Oh, that's crazy. That was a story, bro. Wow. Thank you for sharing that, though. We need to do more story, like another story time, like, um, 
like embarrassing stories or like crazy stories. Their roommate should throw up on this stuff to make it even. Not not gonna lie, even if if like I invited some friends over, you know, some throw up happened. I'm I'm just more fascinated by the fact she noticed you that she that you cleaned her sheets. I think that's interesting. I feel like I wouldn't really notice that much, maybe. She must have some dirty ass sheets. I don't know. Maybe the puke really was that bad. Anyways. Um Okay, one time I made a huge mistake by talking to this one guy, and we ended up hanging out a couple of times. Long story short, he was my first kiss, but he was very much pushing the idea that he had to be my first kiss. And it just felt awkward. Uh, then one time when he came over, I was walking him to his car to say goodbye. And I did a little quick kiss, but with a face grab. Nothing weird. Just a cute little peck goodbye, you know? Uh, yeah, I know. And the next day, this man tells me, never do that kiss again. That's just not how I like it. Like what? Ever since then, I am terrified to even talk to a guy without a fear that I'm going to do something wrong. Very awkward time for me. Um... He's a weirdo. I'm a little bit confused. So, like, he's saying that he needs to be your first kiss. Because you're saying, okay, because you're saying he was my first kiss, but he, but he was pushing the idea that he had to be my first kiss. So is he like, he's saying that, like, that for your ki first kiss, it had to be him. I feel like if a guy ever, ever said something like that, bail immediately. I hope you block this person. Yeah, weird as fuck. I agree. Like, never do that kiss again. Um, like, okay, I could get this in a playful way. Never do that kiss again. Like, kiss me on the lips or something. Okay, maybe. Um, but that's just not how I like it. Bro, that's some questionable behavior right there, my guy. That's just not how I like it. Bro, that's like, that's what you don't say. That's what you don't say. He wants to be in control? Yeah, you better get out of there, bro. You better get out of there. He's giving creeper vibes. Yeah. Hi, Jackie. How are you? I don't even know, like, if I was to rank this, I don't know where I'd put it, but, like, not not, not even, like, it's not even on you, whoever this is, bless your soul, but, like, yo, get away from this guy. This is why I fucking hate, like, the male species, bro. I literally, I, uh, it, it frustrates me so much because I know that all guys have, like, a bad uh, sort of reputation. Um... And it's just like proven time and time again, you know, I know that obviously there's like some other, you know, there's can be girls out there that are just as bad or maybe even worse, you know, I get that, but just fucking weird. Yeah. You're terrified to talk to a guy without fear that I'm going to do something wrong. Uh, first off, I think that you should never even talk to a guy, period. Just fucking do you, bro. Focus on yourself for a little bit because uh, you're doing, you're doing absolutely nothing wrong. Uh, I promise you that that from what I'm hearing about the the kiss the face grab nothing wrong with that you know it's like you were trying to play into the idea of like being the first kiss it's like you know you had like his like uh I don't know like you know yeah this guy's just weird this guy's just weird anyways real men are scary yeah just focus on yourself for a little bit awkward time for me yeah that's very very awkward thanks for sharing that though that's uh that's crazy yeah I don't know, man. The idea of all that stuff, it scares me, bro. It stresses me out. I can't, ah, I can't, I can't imagine it. Um, I frequently think about how my funeral would be and who would show up. Honestly, this is very real. Um, I think from time to time, I play into this idea of like, kind of like, almost like as a test to like the real ones and being like, okay, if I died right now, like who actually would give a fuck? Like who would show up? So maybe I could like just get a visual and like that way I, I know who the dead ass real ones are and I can give my full self and, and be that person and give them anything that they ever want. Right. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that's I feel a little bit. I, I'm, I'm glad that some of you guys feel the same way that you are just thinking about this and stuff, because um, a lot of times I think I'm like sick and twisted. I'm messed up because the amount of times that like death. Or the idea of me just like dying plays in my mind uh it's crazy and it's it's been like that like almost every day for like years uh like three four years now and I'll, i will admit like more often this year i've been happier 
And even on my happy days, I still like think about that stuff. It's weird. I don't know. Is normal? You think so? I don't know. I, I don't really want to think about too much like what happens when we die because I, I think there's so many different perspectives and mindset and I know religion can play a play into, or an idea into that and um, it, it makes me like spiral I feel like because I just start to worry and I start to ask myself what's the point but yeah that's that's very real bro um, but I hope you know if I knew who you were um, well God forbid I, I always like say that maybe this is bad to say but I always hope that I die first between like anyone that I know because um, it would break my heart. I always think about um, the Fault in Our Stars, that scene where they're like uh, writing their, is it called a eulogy or something? They're, they're writing like that, the like what they want to be said or like how they want to be remembered at their funeral. Um, and they were like sharing it with amongst each other. I forgot what it's called. I don't, I don't know what the exact word, but that scene always makes me cry because I, I, I think about that so much. That So every time that scene comes on, I fucking, I'm in a puddle, bro. It's a eulogy? Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I always thought I was weird for that because it's not like an attention type thing. Like, oh, I, I, I like what I, you know, wish I could have my funeral now so people could like show up. It's not really like that. It's just like knowing who the, like the real ass people that are going to be in your life. That's it. Um, I, 22 female, uh, I've never been in a real committed relationship. Um, I know this is judgment free zone and I've been kind of like judgmental. Like, like a little, like playfully judgmental and stuff. Uh, except for the stalking ones, those are a little crazy. But I don't think that this is bad at all. This is not, this is not even slightly bad. Um, I don't think that you not being in a real committed relationship does not, like, it doesn't affect anything. It doesn't mean anything. Um, because there's, think about if you said this, I, 22 female, male, whatever, have been in a real slash committed relationship. Like, okay. You know what I mean? Like, and like, it doesn't change. Like, it's it's fine, bro. It's <laughs> it's like it's your life, right? I don't know. I I may, maybe you're like thinking about it. Maybe you put this because it's playing in your mind, like in the sense of like, oh, I'm 22 and I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Like, I still haven't figured it out, dude. I'm the same way. I I don't mean to make it about like this certain detail, but like, the idea of like, kissing and being like really intimate. It's a scary idea for me, and. Like, I don't know. Like, I, I don't, I don't even know how to like, I don't know. I don't even know. It scares me. And sometimes I'm thinking like, am I a loser? I don't, <laughs> I don't know, bro. When you're a virgin at like 22, bro, you think about a lot of things. But live life, relationships aren't everything. Big facts, big facts. By the way, was not trying to make it weird. But like, when you think about all your friends having fun and like, they're doing this and doing that. And it's like, you're playing Fortnite. You're like, fuck. One time I was so mad at my parents that I ran away from home on a bike. But it only made it around the block before I went back, bro. I'm pretty sure everyone... Type a one in the chat if you had a moment like this in your life. If you fucking deadass, if you ran away. You got so pissed off, you fucking ran away. There's gotta be so... There's gotta be a few of you guys in here, at least. Spell one, one, one. I know some of y'all did that, bro. Close to it? Really? Like, now? Or are you close to it in the past? You started packing everything? Bro, I had a little Spider-Man backpack. I was probably in, like, third, fourth grade. I was super young. And we lived on this uh, little street, Rob Street. And like you walk out our house, you take a left in front of this person's yard, the neighbor's yard. They were never like in the house. So we walked in front of it and it was a stop sign right there, like a few feet. And I remember I was mad at my mom. I yelled at her. I was like, I hate you. I packed my little backpack and it was like one outfit and um, a plastic lightsaber. And I made it to that stop sign waiting for the bus. And I realized that no one was going to pick me up. And I started crying. And uh, I realized, you know. Yep. Gotta, <laughs> gotta suck it up. <laughs> okay, coming from someone who might be just starting something at my age of 37. Give it time. 22 is still young, believe me. Yeah, 22 still young. Very young, bro. Um, I think we learned the other day on stream or last night. The frontal. What did, what did y'all call it? Jen, thank you for the 100 bits, by the way. There's a front, frontal uh, frontal lobe in your brain that develops at a certain age. For for women, it's a little bit uh, faster, I believe. Um, their emotional intelligence is higher. But for men, I think the average age is like mid-20s, 25-ish. So there's a lot to learn in this life. And, and just because your frontal lobe does develop does not mean you know everything, you know? Um, anyways, I don't know. 
You got time, brother. You got time. But this one's real. This one, I like that one. Um, but I bet that walk that walk back was shameful. When I was nine, I did karaoke on a cruise, and half of the audience left during my performance. You definitely, this is definitely Ice JJ Fish, like before Ice JJ Fish, before we knew Ice JJ Fish existed, hundred percent. Um, hey, I'm sure your karaoke skills were great. If I was in the crowd, I would have stayed there for that performance. That's lit. You sound you sound dope as hell. But the fact that you committed, the fact that you committed after seeing all those people left or all those people leaving, I'm actually. You know what? Shame on adults and shame on kids that aren't raised properly and that are like raised to be bullies because I am convinced that kids are spawned in with like 100% like confidence and every interaction that is like negative or that hurts their feelings lowers it and it just keeps going down. And I don't want to say that's like the, the people in my life and the things that they've done or maybe said or whatever have like ruined my confidence, but I'd like to believe that because there's a lot of kids I see on the internet that are just full of life and it makes me happy, but I also get sad knowing that people are probably going to take that away from them at some point, you know? What song though? That's a good one. That's a good one. Probably something about you, girl. No way you just compared him to Ice JJ Fish. So this is you, Chrissy. Yo, what song was it? What song you uh, you perform on karaoke? We, I got to get an idea. We got to know. The people want to know. Some are full of hate, bro. It, it it's uh it's a shame. It, it sucks to see, but people can be mean, very mean. Chrissy, I I don't know the song, bro. That's the worst part. Uh, damn. I was gonna say maybe you can give another performance and then we can do it on stream. If you remember, let me know. Let me know. I'll let you sing in front of everyone. Um, let's see. You and most of the cam boys are my friends. Oh, yo, in uh in my head. Like, sometimes I'll be talking about you guys or refer to y'all as my friends. I don't really have IRL friends, but you guys make me feel like I'm a part of something. Yo, that's very sweet. That's very, uh, that's very awesome. Very cool to see. See, I feel that same way about a lot of people in my life. Um, I don't want to say that um, JC or, um, you know, any of the guys like Reggie or Savage, I don't want to say that they probably don't look at me like a friend, but I see them as my friend. And when I talk to them about other people, um, I get the convenience. It makes it so much easier. Like, oh, yeah, uh, my friend JC he was doing this crazy stream. Instead of saying, like, yeah, this random guy, JC, you know what I'm saying? Like, who's that? Who the fuck is JC? Um, that's really cool. That's awesome. I don't have any IRL friends, but you guys make me feel like a part of something. Yeah, I, I understand not having IRL friends. That I think the internet is, uh, as much as it's full of, like, a lot of hate and a lot of toxicity, um, I honestly don't think the internet's at fault for that because I I think people are just, like, being more expressive, like with their hatred for things. I feel like now more than ever, and, and maybe this is common sense or, or whatever. I'm not like woke. This isn't a new idea, but I think that like just looking at Twitter, people are just expressing their hate. Like what the fuck happened to like, just if you don't like something, just keep it to yourself. And, but I also get the side of like expressing your opinion about something, but I don't think people got to be so harsh and so critical about every damn thing. You know, I don't know. It sucks to see sometimes because it can really put other people down. But, um, yeah, I I don't know who you are exactly, but I like uh, I like to think that you're my friend as well. So I really appreciate you uh, putting something like that. It's cool, and I'm sure they see you the same way. I think the Cam Boys and the community and and what they have built and what y'all have um sort of like molded together. And I know there's like things that happen and fallouts and whatnot, but there is something special there, and um, that's something that you can't just like force, right? That like people did that. JC introduced you to Chelsea as his friend. Yeah, that was so cool, guys. I almost started crying. JC was like talking to Chelsea and he was like, yeah, people were saying number three or date number two was good for Rhett. And she was like, Rhett, who's that? And uh, he's like, oh, that's my uh, my friend from Twitch or something like that. And I was like, yo, what? A friend, bro? That's so cool. I don't like, I don't know if he like really meant that, but it was dope. You know, he said Twitch homie, so I'll take it. That's a W for me. Um, But you know what I mean? It's It's stuff like that. It's like, Sometimes you feel so lonely, but the people on the internet make you feel like you're not, like, fucking crazy in this world, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's, like, the small town that I grew up in for the first part of my life because I did move to another uh, state. But there was so much bullying and just shitty people and, and like, this caring type of vibe and energy about everybody. And I'm not trying to throw my hometown under the bus or anything, but it's like, bro, 
I don't know. Sometimes you just need an escape. I'm glad you have that. Um, I'm still in love with my ex from two years ago. Lol. <laughs> Thank you. I, uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Depending on how this ended, I, I, I'm really not going to like be upset. Um, I hope this isn't the one that had the really bad kiss experience and you're still in love. I hope you've, you know, learned and you've ran away. Uh, but de depending on, I don't know, is this normal? Is this valid? He's an ex for a reason. See, I see that. But if it was like, if you guys, because uh, sometimes you have to like take time away from somebody to like learn to grow as a person. Um, Sometimes people are just shitty. But if it was like in a sense, it was like kind of like, okay, we're doing this for the both of us. Like, you know what I mean? I could understand. That would fucking hurt, bro. Like imagine you find the love of your life and then they tell you that they want to go like work on themselves a little bit more. I'd be like, bro, I'll help you. I'm right here, bro. Like I can fix you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I mean, maybe like going, maybe admitting like in, going back to the ex is a little bit like sort of shameful, I guess, or like, I don't know. Is it a common thing to be embarrassed about that? I don't know. Valid, but I can't relate. It's valid. It's valid. It's hard to get over people sometimes. Yeah, especially if they make a big impact. Like, I always like kind of like rue the day because you know, this girl I dated like a few years ago, it's like, I had a couple songs that I showed her and I would like think about her. And then nowadays when they play, I just like, I can't listen to them. And it's not like a, a pity thing or like, I don't get sad. I don't really trip about it too much, but it is, I don't know. It just doesn't take me to a great place. So tea break, baby, take your time, Vixen. Rue the day, bro, for real. So that, that's kind of like where it's like, I'm learning to be very particular and very careful with who you let into your life because they can have such a big impact even just across from like a screen like this from chat and they can ruin stuff for you so quick. You still have that shirt? Out of here, bro. Out of here. Bro, I was, I was literally A1 shrimp. You can't lie, bro. W wasn't I? Wasn't I? Anyways, you were so down bad. Guys, I have a um, anonymous confession. Not really anonymous, but I was so in love with this girl. Thought she was the one. Uh, she had like a, a picture that she sent me, and maybe this makes me sound creepy, but I uh, went online and I put the picture. I loved it so much, I couldn't stop looking at it. And I put the picture on the t shirt and I would wear it sometimes. He has it under his bed. Nah, bro, I threw that away, bro. <laughs> now, who's the stalker? That is not, nah, that, yo, is that crazy? Is that crazy? I swear on my life. I didn't mean it in a weird way, but I dead ass did that. It was my favorite shirt ever. I would wear it on stream and stuff. I think I still have a clip out there with it, but... <laughs> the ret lore is crazy, bro. <laughs> you still have it? No, bro. No. <laughs> Joe Goldberg. No, nah, that's not... Joe Goldberg wouldn't get, like, their face on a shirt. Because that's, like, just... It's evidence. It's ev that's the way I see it, anyway. Maybe I am a killer. Okay. Did she know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I talked to her about it. Um, did she like it? I thought, I think she probably thought it was pretty cool. Um, she probably thought it was weird. I mean, I had it uh, for like a few months, so I'm, oh, bro, uh, come on, bro. This guy stinks. Come on. You act like you want to do the same thing, bro. Boy, you, whose merch you probably got? You probably got K and J merch in your closet tucked in there. I know you do. You probably got a shirt with Keen and Lolly's face on it. I know he came out with merch like that. Fucking hating ass. He probably got one direct. You probably got Harry Stout. Okay. Anyways, never again though. Never again. All right. So I don't know if that made me worse than you, but I think you're off the hook, bro. You're chilling. Uh, we're almost done. 42 out of 48, bro. I'm letting a lot of stuff out here. I hope you guys still love me. Still like me. <laughs> uh, I got into a car accident recently and I had some damage to my arm. I've been putting off uh, or putting on a very brave face and trying to hide from everyone. Uh, trying to hide from everyone that I'm upset, scared, and tired of uh, over feeling this way. I don't know what to do. Oh, dude, I'm very sorry about that. Um, I got into a car accident recently. I did some damage to my arm. I don't think you, um, as much as you might think you have to put on a brave face, I don't think you have to, bro. It's like, dude, you went through something. It's like, you got to fully let those emotions, you got to just 
let it all out. Cry if you want to cry. If you want to rant to somebody, if you're, you know, feeling scared and you want, if talking to someone makes you feel better, um, that stuff you can't, you can't keep in. Yeah, and what, uh, serious, uh, seriously, saps, it's okay to not be okay. Yeah, for sure. I, I think like, um, uh, the damage part, like everyone gets, gets broken in some way or another, uh, you know, physically or mentally, emotionally, whatever, but you gotta, you know, figure out what helps you feel better uh, doing that during that time. But yeah, let it out, bro. Don't keep that in. Um, I don't know uh, if that will help you, but in terms of you not knowing what to do, I think just just get better, get your rest. Help you feel better. Mm. Yeah, that's traumatic. Nobody that's worth being in life will shame you. Yeah, and if they shame you, bro, shame on them. Really, get rid of them. Throw the whole man away. I lost my family's hamster because I let it outside to eat some grass. And I had to pretend I didn't know what happened to it. Shame on you. I'm glad this wasn't another gerbil in the couch cushion situation. Or guinea pig. But to let it, letting it outside to eat some grass. See, that's, that's very sweet and kind of you. But love, they have hamster food. Hamster food. But it was probably going to die anyway. They last like a couple weeks. Um, but maybe you should tell them one day. Maybe you tell them so they can, you know. Couch cushion? Yeah, somebody... Um, they were looking for their guinea pig and they found it smushed under the cushion. Someone sat on it. Maybe it lived a life, started a family, got a job. Oh yeah, he's definitely a hard worker man now. Mm-hmm. Um, all right, let's go into the next one. All right, I hate when I go to someone's chat and all the people in there have their own inside jokes and only talk amongst themselves. It always makes me feel like an outsider. Gang, where are you? Ed, thank Gang, you for that. Where are you? One second, let me put this. Blood, this play. Blood, How do y'all feel about this? Blood, I gotta know y'all's thoughts. I gotta, I gotta evaluate where real quick. You, yes, agree. Yes, whoever said that, I feel you. Do you actually feel that way? Same low key felt real big yes, really. Because there's a couple ways to go about it. Because. I do understand kind of like that feeling of being on like a kind of a butt end of a joke and not really knowing what's going on. Um, because I had a, a similar situation where <clears throat> I'm not going to name drop or anything, but someone like felt that I didn't appreciate them as much because I didn't make uh, or didn't have a, like a, an inside joke with them or something. But I, I was trying to explain it and I was like, you know, an inside joke isn't something that you can just like, you know, you like force or like make, you know what I mean? And it's like, if, if there's someone amongst the chat, like if it's two chatters or a few chatters, like they have their own inside joke. Um, that's what I was saying. Like, I feel like Twitch has changed where it feels like more clicky. It feels like a bit more like you're walking into high school. Right. Um, so it's like, I, I can't really fault because it's the internet and technically at the end of the day, yes, there's an etiquette, but there's really no right or wrong way in how you have to chat in a chat. You know what I mean? Never here. I hope not in here because I will say that there are moments where, like I was saying earlier, for the people that lurk, I read chat a lot and or I try my best to. And I'll ask you guys like, hey, how's your day? I'm really engaging with the chat, but I'm not engaging with my content and with what's going on with the people that are watching. So that's why I feel like it's very boring for them. Um, I feel like it ties back in the other confession where they're nervous to talk in chat. Yeah, see, I I really think that like nicknames, inside jokes, they just kind of happen. And the only way to make that happen, in my opinion, is to just like be you in, in chat. Don't try to force anything. You don't have to be necessarily super funny. But if you're there in the moment, it's kind of like if you know, you know. You know what I mean? Because if you, let's say, don't watch Twitch for six months and you come back, Yes, there's going to be new people. There's going to be people you don't recognize. There's going to be people that are no longer there. There's going to be jokes that you have no idea. Like, you're like, what the fuck does that even mean? Like, why is he talking about farts? You know what I mean? Um, 
I, I don't want to say it's not that deep, but it's kind of one of those things where it's very like you have to like actively try yourself and, and put yourself out there just as equally. Otherwise, it gets confusing really quick because the Internet's so fast paced. I can wake up tomorrow. We can all wake up tomorrow. And it's going to be 10 new things that happen today. For example, the alien, there's fucking aliens or something like that. Fucking told you so, by the way. Um, but isn't that crazy? The government just like drops that. So, you know what I mean? Um, and then like, like tomorrow, Mr. Beast is going to drop a video or, um, fucking Twitter change. Or maybe Instagram is going to change next. You know what I mean? There's so many like crazy things, um, that I guess, and I'm not saying that to be a dick by the way, but I really think it comes down to just like, um, being more comfortable in the chat, just like trying to engage a little bit more. If people have their own inside joke, like one day that will be you. Uh, you will have that joke with somebody. So um, don't really look at it in uh, in a way that's like they are out to get you. I know the brain is like super scary. And when someone says a joke, it might be quick. It might be quick. Like, are they talking about me? Because I think that. Like, so, like I used to go in JC's chat and like type and I'd see like a message or two that I feel like I could like, you know, if the shoe fits, wear it. Like, I'm like, wait, am I annoying right now? I don't know. So I get scared to type. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this, but. I, I really don't think that it's um that it's all bad. It's all evil. I think people are really just trying to um get an escape from a lot of the times the real world and just enjoy their time here. And if that's through a couple inside jokes, I feel like that's that's okay. But you're more than welcome to to chat anytime. Um, I'm sorry if anyone's ever felt this way in here. Like I said, it's something that I've been wanting to fix for a long time. I just I don't know how. Um. Because like Elizabeth had said, and I totally agree, inside jokes or like, like the names, like it just happens and it's really hard to like, sometimes I can't even tell you how it happened. It just does. And it just sticks. You know what I mean? Um, but just if you do or don't, it doesn't mean any, it doesn't mean you're better or worse. Right. So anyways, I'll, I'll go to the next one. But uh, I, a few people said that they related to that. And, and I do understand where you're coming from. So you're not crazy for thinking that every chat's different just because one chat's bad doesn't mean all the more yeah very true very true you won't have a bad experience in every twitch chat i promise you that there's there's like i said there really is good people out there and i'm looking at them right now so um i like seeing on screen when i watch the vods and these guys I see your chat right now bro come on now come on now uh chat's very welcoming i'm glad all right I once was talking to someone from long distance and they wanted to meet up so bad, but I did not want to make the drive. So I told them I didn't have my license so they could come to me and they did. I felt so bad, but fucking it, we ball. Wait, no, that's kind of like girl boss energy. That's good. Yo. <laughs> um, I don't know, man, that I'd never, I, w I will, I will say I've never been that down bad. This person was down bad. This person was so down bad. They they were willing to drive long distance to meet you. Eight, four plus four. I mean, good for you, bro. Don't waste that gas. Don't waste that fucking money that time. Like, yo, fucking. <laughs> that's dedication. I bet you had to cut off the license, get rid of all of your existence. No, that's so funny. You think you dodged a bullet? Yeah, probably so. Uh, Because I think... I mean, I, I can't really, you know, I can't really see how well it went or how bad it went for you. You said, fuck it, we ball in the little blush face. So I'm assuming that like, you know, it's like a, it happened. Okay. All right. If you wanted to, you would <laughs> stop. <laughs> All right. Oh, this one's crazy. This one. <laughs> I'm a 24 year old virgin crying face. Never been in a relationship either. Never been in a relationship either. Okay, are they attack? I don't know if they're attacking me. Or wait, never been in a relationship either. I don't know if. Okay, I don't know if you're coming at me, bro. But fucking relax, okay? Uh, and it makes me feel very out of place for my age a lot of times, since everyone else around me is a lot more experienced. And sometimes I feel ashamed for being behind. We literally, I kind of just talked about this. Blessing, shut up, bro. Shut up. I, I've, I don't. We kind of talked about this. Dude, being like a 22, almost 23, I always like question that stuff. And I, like I said, I don't mean to be weird. I really don't. But it fucking, it terrifies me. Because it's not that I feel behind, but I just like, I want to be the, like the right person. And I know that not everybody's perfect, but 
You don't want to like fucking, I don't know, bro. You don't look like an idiot. You posted your own confession. I'm 22 years old, bro. I'm 20 years old. You just told us about your ex-girlfriends. It was long distance. I didn't fucking drive. To, oh, gee, what? <laughs> Nothing even happened. Oh my. I feel for you, bro. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think it's really out of place. Like, like uh, and Jen said earlier, Jen said the best, but she saying like 37, like, uh, or, or 20. So what'd you say? I don't know. You said something like being in your 20s doesn't mean you got to do all that stuff. There, There's people out there that are very like, uh, proud of like their faith and, and what they preach or whatever. And some people don't do that stuff till marriage, you know, and, and maybe they get married at 30, 35, 40, 50. It's not everything in life. Uh, there's definitely some more important things. So I don't know. I'm sure maybe in a world where it's like you've got a lot of kids like your age around you, it's probably very hectic and overwhelming, but it's not everything. Yeah. Uh, none of that matters when it's the right person. Uh, like uh, the like the experience wise or like the like none of that matters like period because I, I agree with either one. Also, hello, Jewel. Um, how are we doing today? Life has no timeline. Do things you want how you want. Yeah, so true. Go at your own pace. Uh, I feel like there's a lot of pressure, but... Just because it becomes unnormalized to lose it early doesn't mean it's weird to not. Yeah, be because... Do you know what's so crazy to me? And this might be... um, This might be a... What's it called? Uh, Like a very trying to think of the word um i'm just gonna talk real quick the idea of like in high school or college going to parties drinking um controversial i don't know like hoeing around and like you know doing all this crazy stuff and going on hinge and uh swiping left and right and uh, driving here and doing this all of that sounds so fake to me like, it just does not sound real. My brain can't wrap, like, maybe that's because I've just played Fortnite, but it just doesn't, it, like, people will, in the chat will be like, oh, like, I got really drunk and I did this or I did that, like, you know, from time and time again. And I'm like, oh, like, that sounds like some movie type shit. You know what I mean? It just doesn't, it doesn't seem real. Um, Like, in high school, I didn't do nothing. Like, the, the craziest thing in high school that I did, I went to a football game. And it, my first football game ever, and I was a senior. So, like, I don't know. Like, the, like I, I don't know, parties and stuff. Yeah, that it just, parties just seem so fake. Um, like, I went to, like, a, a small, like, little party in L.A. It was, like, with uh, the Fortnite guys, like, Tifu, Cloaksy, and a few others. But it wasn't, like, a party, like, ooh, like, bump, get lit. I don't even know how to dance. Like, I don't even know how to, like, celebrate. I don't know. The Just the that idea. It's so crazy to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little bit overdramatic, but it just... It seems almost so fake that people live life like that. Not saying it's a bad thing, like I said. But I, I just, my brain just, I'm like, really? Really? Anyways. You feel like an NPC? Yeah, you feel like, yeah. I don't know. Life is a movie. <laughs> Sarah, with your fucking buzz balls, bro. Relax. <laughs> Maybe you should have came to the Texas parties. Bro, I'm not about that life, man. I want to stream. I'm not about that life. Sometimes I live through stuff, or I live through stuff, and I'm like, damn. Like, I, I want to I wanna sit down and talk to somebody that, like, does, um, not necessarily, they don't have to, like, do drugs, drink, and have sex all the time, but lives that, like, hardcore sort of, like, party life. Like, I, I, I want to, I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just curious, like, what? What do they feel like they get out of it? Or like, what is the, I don't know. Because I remember, uh, so my friends would tell me like uh, in high school, like, oh, right, like go out and do this or hang out with us and do this. Okay, actually, no, never mind. In high school, I smoked weed. That's probably the craziest thing I did. Not the football game. I lied. I just remembered that. Anyways, um, but they would be like, like, just have fun and like experiment and just go do a bunch of stuff. But I feel like you can do that with like 
one person, you know, just find the right person. Like, just because you skip like the like hoe phase, I'm not saying that just because you do that, it's just like a hoe phase, but uh, just to label it, I guess. Um, because if you skip that, it's automatically like you're just gonna have like a boring life. And you feel like you're missing out. So it's constantly like trying to be like, damn, like I missed that. And now I'm like 22, I'm getting older. And I'm like, still not going to parties or like hanging out. I don't know. It's very weird. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to a whole tangent, but I don't know. Just like me for real, bro. Let's, okay, we got we got two more. We got two more. Um, I applied for a master's program in the UK for next year, and I got in and accepted. Oh, my offer uh, a few weeks ago. Wait, congrats. It's been my dream forever, but I haven't told any of my family yet because I know they want to prove me going. Dude, so we kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but, um, dude, you should be fucking proud of yourself. That's a, a, a great achievement right there. And I don't know, dude, like, uh, I don't want to, I don't want to say fuck what your parents think. Cause I do think that they want the best for you, but what do you want at the end of the day? Let me ask you that. What do you want? Congratulations. Yeah, that's very cool. You guys accepted my offer a few weeks. That's that's very awesome. A master's program in the UK. I'm not too like familiar with like UK's like sort of thing. Um, isn't it crazy how like UK in the UK they go to high school for like two years, I think, and then our junior and senior year of high school is their like two years of college. I wish we did that. That would be so cool. And then they go to like university. That's dope. Man. Um, all right. Uh, sometimes I feel like a disappointment to my friends and my family. I haven't been the best version of myself that I want to be. And it's been keeping me so down. I still have so much I want to achieve, but I haven't yet. And I know that I still have so much time to achieve those things, but it just seems impossible when I'm not feeling okay slash motivated that much. Um, I think recognizing that is like the first step. Um, that to me is a, is a, a sign because there's two types of people obviously more but there's two types of people where it's like people that obviously like they know their life is going down a certain way and they just don't care or they don't try but you're recognizing that and you recognizing that you haven't been the best version of yourself means you can only get better you know when you hit rock bottom there's only one way and that's up uh so i feel like i i get you i really do um you have so much you want to achieve, but I haven't yet. You've got your whole life. I don't know how, like, old you are, uh, how young you are, whatever. But I know that there's a lot of time, and, and I know that even this year is going by quick. But when I, uh, it seems impossible and I'm not feeling okay slash motivated that much, I think you'd be surprised how much a good night of sleep would do for you and a game plan trying to journal your thoughts kind of get like a an idea okay let me gauge like what i kind of want my life to look like what would really satisfy me right now what type of attitude almost write this like future version of yourself what kind of job you'd have um i don't know different little questions i can maybe link you a video or something if you're interested but um i think that kind of helped me figure out like what my purpose was like leaning more towards instead of like seeking happiness it's uh seeking I'm not really seeking, it's uh, giving and, and uh, having like a service, just doing stuff for people is what gives me that like kind of fuel to keep going. And for everybody, it's going to be different. So it might not be the same, but yeah, I'm sorry you feel that way, yo. That, uh, that sucks. Disappointment to my friends and my family. I don't think um, you might feel that way, but I don't think your your friends and your family are disappointed in the slightest bit. And, and a if they are they are just they're just not your real your real friends or like i mean are were they ever really your friends anyways and, and family it's it's easy for family to be disappointed in anything that you do i feel like that's the one like high like supremium power that like it seems like you can never win you can never even there's always this next thing that you have to be able to accomplish or this next thing that you can do maybe they ask you to set the dinner set the table and take out the trash Boom, boom, boom. You do those things. Hey, mom, I set the dinner. I, I made this. I set the table. I took out the trash. Okay, but did you do your laundry? Is your room clean? 
you know, there's always that, that, that one extra expectation. Um, and whether that's like instinct or like, whether that's them trying to like give you a hint to like do more. Right. I don't know. I feel like you should just do stuff to make yourself satisfied and happy at the end of the day. And like I said, I know I'm kind of like spitballing here because I've kind of, I feel like I've been on such a repeat on this whole thing, but yeah, really, truly, it just comes down to living your best life, bro. Um, I think having no motivation is the worst. You know, you should be doing other things, but you just feel like you can't do it. Well, motivation is very, a very temporary thing. Um, and I know that you might know that or other people might know that, but motivation is something that will always come and go. For example, I got motivated to do these streams. It took me a week and a half. This was submitted, um, oh, this was submitted, um, not too long ago. Um, the last ones were submitted on like the 13th and the 14th, right? So it's like, you know, I get these sudden bursts of motivation. I'm like, I'm going to be the best streamer ever. And I'm fucking crying in my bed, wondering like, where did I go wrong and all this, you know, in, in life? Um, I don't know. It's a lot of like existential shit, I guess, but, um, I think sooner or later you get to a point in your life where you're, you're suddenly not doing things for you, but for other people. Like for me, like what a reason that wanted me to like stay here is because I want to be a dad one day. I want to have kids. Um, you know, if, you know, whatever girl I end up marrying and having, or if she wants to have kids. Right. But like, You know, it, it, life gets a lot deeper than just like you and, and what you want to go through. So I feel like just finding like, I know I'm, I'm struggling to find the right words, but I've been a people pleaser my whole life and it's mentally exhausting. Yeah, the, I, I feel that being a, being a yes man sucks so much. Sucks so much. My motivation has been missing for a few years. Yeah, uh, you know, I was talking to Brad about that because we went on a walk the other day and going around the lot and he said you know we were talking about it this is a 45 minute walk so we got a lot to say and he's just telling me about this and about that about work how's day was the weather how's walking's going how he's feeling finally asked me towards like the end of the walk like the last little stretch he's like so how are you doing how are you feeling i'm like sitting there like i'm fucking dude what am i doing i'm same old bro like i don't have anything interesting to say anything interesting to share um I just feel like I'm kind of like going in the circle a bunch, not really like doing anything. And I'm like, I'm telling him like my schedule is super bad. I can't wake up in the morning. And he's like, he's like, well, if streaming is like your job, right? That's all you got to wake up for. So why are you stressing? I'm like, I'm stressing because I don't want to get up. Like it's hard to get up. I don't have the motivation to get up. I could have all the people tell me in the world, like, Hey, you need to get up and stream. I still won't do it. You know what I mean? It's, it's just not there. And it's like, you can't just like snap a finger and be like, oh, I'm motivated, you know? It's kind of like, it just hits you at moments. Maybe it's like, um, you know, you get that mood at 3 a.m., 2 a.m., and you just like want to clean your whole room and just reorganize your life. I think the next time that that moment happens, be in the moment, capitalize on it, and that's when you fully make a game plan, and that's when you start making the changes. Set up the list, bro. Stack the Ws. Start like, don't say tomorrow or the next day. Literally, the next moment. The next moment is when you make the change. Just count to three and do it. Um, I, I don't hate saying no. I just, wait, I feel bad. Uh, wait, no for what? I'm sorry. You done that too many times? Yeah, because uh, I've talked about before, but like when you do like one bad thing, like sleeping in or eating pizza or ice cream, like I said, you can eat these things and live your life, but that ice cream will make you feel sloppy. Maybe you take a nap and it ruins your schedule, blah, blah, blah. So you keep going in a bad loop. So I feel like, you know, trying to set good habits that will just keep stacking and keep motivating you for the next one. And of course, you're going to have your bad days. I was going to the gym for like four months and life was great. I was going to bed at like seven, eight o'clock willingly. And I'd wake up at 5 a.m. And it was great. I would do my podcast stuff. And I know I wasn't streaming. So my life wasn't exactly picture perfect where I wanted it. But um, it was a start. It's better than what it was, I felt like. Um, and I fucking, I plummeted and like for a few months, I was just like, you know, I'm still right where I am. Right. So I, I think that motivation is one of those things that is always going to come and go. I feel like you just have to pretty much learn to have a little bit more 
discipline and willingness in your life to like want to make a change, to want to get better. And you just got to do it, even when it's hard, even when it hurts or when you want to cry or even when you want to lay in bed, you just have to get up. And it's so easy because I say that now and it's like tomorrow I'm going to wake up and be like, I'm going to stream early. It's going to be 7 p.m. And I'm going to be like, oh, well, I'm just going to I'm just going to take a nap. You know what I mean? Where, where's the energy now? Right. It's hard, but you just got to like. Always kind of keep it in the back of your mind. Hi, Zaria. What up, yo? Even look, I just want to say hi, though. Hello. Hope you're doing good. I'm trying to stop taking naps and going back to the gym again, but it's so hard. Uh, Shorty Tori, I think one big step you could do when you feel like you want to take a nap, go on a walk. Um, the other day, uh, when I went on a walk with Brad, I wanted to go one more time and just think about life by myself. And I went one more time and I was just talking out loud and just talking out loud helps me a lot too. I don't know if that will help anyone else, but just talking about life, like what I want to change or what I don't like about myself, uh, what I could do better. And there's always going to be something. I got back and I just had this weird urge. I'm like, you know what? Screw streaming right now. I'm going to go to the gym. And I just, so maybe like that walking will help you not feel as tired. And then, because I also say take walks like after you eat too. Because when you eat, you get like kind of like slumped or whatever. Flowers from Miranda. Hey, have a good night. Thanks for coming to the stream. Yo, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brett. I needed to hear that. Uh, exotic Rose, you're welcome. Uh, I, I wish I could help this person or maybe some of you guys that feel the same way a little bit better. Like I said, man, I'm still super young and I don't have all the answers that I, I wish I did have. But I know that life is like literally, and we all know this, it's an ongoing journey. Like we're going to have ups and downs and, you know, maybe even whenever we have a family or we have kids, if that's your thing, uh, maybe when you get your shit together and you have the job of your dreams, um, you still might experience this disappointment, right? Maybe in this time it's disappointment with your boss, disappointment with your kids, disappointment with, uh, you know, maybe with your life still, right? But I feel like without that disappointment, without that like intrusive thought in our mind that we could always do better, we really as humans wouldn't seek for greatness. And we wouldn't, like the reason why people are so great is because they fucking go through the shit. They go through hell and back. And, and when they make it, they have a story to show for it and um, they're able to, to talk about it. Like all the famous people, like, you know, most of the time, if it's not like mo modern day, like TikTokers, maybe a little exception, not saying they didn't get to go through shit because that wouldn't be fair to say. But a lot of like celebrities, like they went through it, man, when they were younger or maybe like a few years before or something. I was listening to, uh, there's a really good podcast I would recommend everyone watch, um, but it's uh, Jay Shetty and he has a podcast. He interviews like, um, a bunch of like celebrity guests. So I think one of them was, uh, damn, he did quite a few. He did quite a few. He had Kobe Bryant on one. That's a good one. Uh, he recently had uh, Nessa Barrett and she was kind of talking about her life and how that went out. Uh, like she said that she had a dream. Uh, she wanted to become like a singer and her parents didn't agree with that. And she just left. She packed her bags, moved to LA and she made it happen. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think she said she's still kind of close to her mom now, but they're like not fully there or something. I, I can't remember exactly how she went about it, but she talked about her struggles in life and it was just like, she had a vision for herself and she went after it. You know, she didn't wait for anyone else's approval. She didn't give a fuck about what they thought. I mean, maybe to an extent, but like I said, I know I'm kind of bouncing back and forth around here, but I hope that it's maybe giving somebody something or clicking just then or a little bit ago. Yeah, it's hard to give advice on this stuff. It's pretty complicated. Yeah, because it's so much deeper than just like words to say because everyone's going through something different um, in life. Because like, it's easy for me to say like, oh, we'll just go after your dreams. But for some people, it's not their parents' disappointment. It's maybe their the lack of the you know, the environment that they're in or the uh, the connections they have or the money or, you know, there's so many things. And I don't know everyone personally, but... I think it's fascinating to think that everyone has a story to tell. Yeah, you wouldn't think so. Because uh, I would hear like one great story. And then I'd be like, oh, well, that's really cool. And then this person would have another great story. You can learn a lot from a lot of people. So. Mm. 
This is a talk I wish I had with someone a month ago. I love your mindset. It's never too late, Paige. I, I'm glad it was, we're only a month later and not a year later, right? So hopefully it's maybe change the perspective a little bit, but thank you for the rep part, number 50 something. This is why I miss your podcast. I apologize. I, I really need to get back into it. Maybe you guys can uh, give me some ideas on some episodes or maybe I can do another like uh, therapy session episode. That'd be fun. Because the therapy session gives me like, um, I can like kind of find words or like, I just get to be me and just talk. And then with a lot of other things, you know, it's a little bit more in depth, making sure like I, I flow from my conversations. Not saying I have to put in more work and be like, oh, I just want to be lazy. But all I want to do is be effective in what I say and what I do. And um, not just put out something that it might just help one person, right? If it can help more than one person, that'd be great. Overall, though, yeah, I agree. Those were some heartfelt, interesting, shocking, and juicy. These are pretty interesting, guys. I, I really, um, I don't know what to say. Well, th well, thank you, first of all, for everyone that was patient enough. I know people were asking, like, when are we doing confessions? When are we doing confessions? So I hope that people didn't feel like they missed out on a lot. Um, and I'm so, like I said, I might seem like I have the answers. Or I might seem like I got it figured out, but I can say this stuff and I can be in my bed stressing about it the next day um i've got my own struggles man i like i'm not perfect i'm i'm not bro i've got so many things that like people will be like oh um if you have a girlfriend they must be lucky or like uh oh i wish i had your mindset but it's like bro like you know what i mean what goes on up here like it's scary i'm not, I'm not like a crazy stalker like at the plant nursery but um i don't know just it's just very dark and everyone everyone's got some came in late earlier uh said hi left again now i'm back even more horrifyingly late alive for croft what's good welcome back excuse me i keep hiccuping every therapist needs a therapist yeah very true very true i wonder if uh some therapists have had to get therapy because of like what they've you know listened to or what they've had to like help people like go through or talk to um interesting to think about i'm sure maybe for sure right i don't know sometimes people will, will tell me stuff and i like i don't know how to respond and it like makes my heart just like feel so heavy for them and it, i don't know it makes me feel like very bad i don't know if like i'm very like an empathetic person but um i don't know man R.I.P. Peanut. Facts. <laughs> Taylor says goodnight, right? Goodnight, chat. As always, thanks for the lovely stream. Hope everyone has a good night. Taylor, have a good one. Thanks for coming in. I hope you enjoyed the uh, confession session. Uh, this is an anonymous confession, anonymous depression, anonymous therapy session, bro. And that's what this was. But it was great. It, it was so much fun. I had a great time. And I think you guys probably got to learn a couple new things about me. The toothbrush thing um the embarrassing girlfriend on my t-shirt you know so i don't know maybe you can laugh at that it, i'm human bro i make mistakes i do weird stuff too so anonymous criminals bro yeah man y'all going to jail <laughs>